Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day one of five. This is the Scottish National Age Group Championships from Aberdeen Sports Village. Wednesday morning session. My name is Robert Taylor. I'll be doing live stream, and with me in the commentary position is to welcome Matty Watson, who uh, is doing live stream for the first time. So good luck uh, to this morning, Matty. Thank good you to very have much. you with us. Looking forward to it. Fun, the place is looking fantastic. So, yeah, all geared up for a great meet. Looking forward to it. Yeah, so our swimmers uh, will be coming down poolside very shortly. We have a, a very long session uh, ahead of us, around about uh, three and a half hours. So stay with us. Uh, wide variety of events, uh, eight events this morning, and we finish uh, this, eve this, uh, this uh, late early afternoon with uh, some relays, uh, which is a really good fun event. Um, that's the, the programme ahead of us. Uh, we kick off with uh, 200 backstroke for the uh, 15, 18 year olds. This, this is the older age group in the morning, younger age group swim in the afternoon. Um, so we alternate between uh, female and male and open. So that's uh, your programme. Some of the swimmers, Matty, have been down at the British, so they've uh, they've had a, a busy week so far. Yeah, they've they got have another week, uh, busy week ahead of them. And a fantastic meet it was down there as well. And uh, having a look at the programme here, Robert, there's so many swimmers. We've got a huge reserve list as well. So um, um, I've never seen the, this is quite as busy as this before. So um, yeah, really looking forward to this. Yeah. Got a, 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 a very promising meet ahead of us. It is indeed, yeah. I know that uh, the, the coaches will be disappointed that some of the swimmers are not getting uh, the opportunity to swim here. But I suppose that's that's a good sign that we're, we're getting over the, the effects of COVID uh, a few years back. Uh, and we're getting back up, hopefully, to the standards that yeah. we had uh, six, seven, eight years ago. It certainly made a big impact on swimming, yeah. And I think we're now just starting to turn the corner. So, fingers crossed, the way forward does here. So, uh, yeah, looking very much forward to this, Robert. And I'm, I'm sure there's got to be a few disappointed swimmers not getting their swim. But they're here, they're qualified, and they're uh, taking part. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you can see our officials all kitted this year now in black trousers. Uh, those of you watching in live stream would have seen uh, uh, the gear was uh, white, but it's now uh, black trousers. Uh, our uh, session referees and starters are uh, just to the very front of your camera there. And uh, they get welcomed uh, poolside. We'll run through uh, the usual uh, bits and bobs early doors uh, before we get underway. But uh, looking forward uh, this morning to some really exciting swims. Uh, very first event, the 200 backstroke. Um, we have uh, nine heats in that one. Uh, last three of those heats will be seeded. And uh, we'll bring uh, that uh, through to you when we get to those seeded positions. Uh, the way it swam, Matty, is uh, the fastest swimmers uh, in the slower heats will be in the middle lanes. That's right. Yeah. And when we get to the seeded heats, the last three heats, uh, the fastest swimmers are in the middle lanes, the slowest swimmers in the outside lanes. So you'll have the fastest swimmer in lane four in the last heat, second fastest is in lane four in the penultimate heat, and the third last heat is our third fastest swimmer, and it's seeded accordingly. So. Uh, we would expect in those last heats, Matty, to see the swimmers in the middle lanes very yeah, much prominent. Yeah, uh, very much so. Um, it's uh, th there's a great excitement building here anyway, so I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah. Like you know, the um, hopefully uh, no issues at all. As we listen in the background there, that's the staff all coming out the pool deck, getting ready with their ledges to go in. So yeah. we're just about there, Robert, and good yeah. to go. Yeah, make sure uh, you've got your your cup of tea, your cup of coffee uh, to hand. Uh, you won't be missing very much. Uh, it's all pretty fast and furious uh, in the early stages, 200s, 100s, and uh, some 50s. Uh, we close off with uh, three heats of 1500, 1500 so yeah. that might get you a wee break, uh, maybe around uh, 11 o'clock or so to put the kettle on and uh, just disappear for a few minutes yeah. and then come back and en plenty, enjoy that. Plenty short bursts of speed in the 50s and then three 1500s, that's... Uh, Back to back, so yeah, yeah, going to be plenty of time for talking in the 1500s there, Robert. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have uh, our referees are just being uh, introduced, Jeremy Chittleborough and Susan Cole. Carol Cooper and Rob Barrett are our two starters. So they'll make their way to the side of the pool. 
just uh, virtually in front of your camera. And all of the clubs will have uh, all their gear, as you can see, Snags 2023, a lot of them uh, get yeah. the, the specially kitted out for the, the whole week. It's great to see that. Huge, huge week for some of these summers, isn't it? And a good variety of clubs uh, represented all over uh, the UK, not just uh, Scotland. We've got uh, clubs from uh, Hamilton, Dubai, yeah, and right, uh, yeah, yeah. always get a, a good contingent, uh, especially from the north of England. We're delighted to see them coming up and uh, supporting the meet as they always do. So. Fantastic. So here we go. So this is the very first event, Matty, yeah. and uh, I'll pass it over to you to uh, do the honours. All uh, nice and quiet oh, to nice start yet. off with, Matty. So yeah, so this is the first heat of nine, as Robert said. The swimmers here from lane zero is Abbey McMillan, City of Glasgow swimmer. Lane one, Zyla Petrie from Money Feath. And uh, lane two, Lucy McLaughlin and Verclyde. Lane three is Olivia McManus from the Highland Swim Team. And four, it's Ailey McNichol from Glen Rothis. Five is Imogen Barrett, Ren 96. And lane six, Lucy Panfield from Redditch. Seven is Hannah Yao from University of Aberdeen Performance. Eight is Madison Gourley from North Ayrshire. And then lane nine from West Lothian, Sophie Rag. So that's your uh, swimmers there, Robert. Yeah, you, you see the splits uh, hopefully coming up on your screen. 36.77, the leader at uh, the first 50. Yeah, Olivia McManus, Highland swimmer. Swims for Loch Aber swim team. Highland swim team being a composite from the Highlands, uh, six clubs contributing swimmers. So she's taking the early lead here. Coming up to the uh, five metre mark. So let's see Olivia's time there. 30, 9, 8, 6, first one, 1, 16, 63. One and a half seconds ahead of Isla Petrie. Lucy McLaughlin, McLaughlin in third. Good, a pretty well, isn't swim. she, Marty? Yeah, very steady swim here from Olivia. She's got two or three metres ahead here, so let's see if she can maintain that. But certainly, uh, first hundred's been very good for her. So now coming up to the wall. She has still got two or three metres lead as she takes that final turn. 157.84 and just two and a half seconds ahead of Isla Stilt who's got a second and a bit ahead of Hannah Young third so see how they come here down now in this cut leg here still very much Olivia keeping that lead very steady lead over the rest of the competitors here Isla's maybe still in second Good contest for second, Matty. But yeah, uh, definitely. No question about the uh, your leader here from the start. Highland swimmer's going to come in first, so Olivia McMahon is taking first place. And it's pretty bunched up in second here, but Hannah Yow's just pipped it there, and Imogen Barrett third. Good swim there for Olivia McMahon. That's... Uh, Result now on your board. That's uh, the confirmed. Uh, well done to. Yeah, so uh, two thirty-nine thirty, just a wee bit slower than uh, entry times, but a lot of these times, uh, Matty, uh, especially uh, if you have those times uh, from the draft program, if you've looked at those, anything finishing in a point something zero is probably a short course conversion to long course so yep. uh, with just se seven turns on long course uh, sorry short course as against three of the short course big difference, yep. uh, it does make a big difference so some of the times might just be a little bit slower than their actual entry time so that's us off we go now into the second heat here so the swimmers are Lucy Morgan, University of Aberdeen performance, goes in zero. Chloe Kirk from Mulgain Pierce then in one. Sadie Faulkner at St Thomas in two. Abby Mitchell, Elgin three. Kira Finlayson, City Glasgow four. 
five Emma Job, Aberdeen Dolphins five, Ern Plate from Morpeth in lane six, South Ayrshire's Inga Cumming in seven, teammate Ely Johnson in eight, and at nine, Juliet Kidd from Dundee City Aquatics. Now Chloe Kirk, 36-45, well Gan Bears then swimmer, off nice and sharply on the near side here, and beside her in lane zero, Lucy Morgan, University of Aberdeen performance a wee bit further back. So, uh, you know, just uh, coming up to uh, towards that second turn, Robert, she's yeah. got the early lead, but yeah. it's certainly pretty bunched up behind that, so. Yeah. No. Chloe, Chloe going pretty well. Uh, about a month or so back, I think she's just coming back from uh, a little bit of illness, so month or so back, just getting her fitness back, and uh, she's out strongly still, the halfway leader. Uh, probably this is sort of a stretch of 200, she's maybe a wee bit better over a 100 or a 50, but she's uh, going nicely now, just beginning to pull away a wee bit here. Inga Cummins there, I think, starting to pull it back a little bit, is it? Let's see if Chloe can hang on to it here. Entry time for Chloe to 37.54, where she finished uh, in the final last year. So she'll want to try and uh, emulate that yeah. uh, this year. And coming up to the turn, she is still ahead, 158.94. Very similar um, split to the last uh, one, just a yeah. fraction slower. Erin Bright, lane six. Morpeth swimmer. Let's see if she can drag that back now. That's just uh, just uh, half a body length oh, keeping that ahead, lead, yeah. and it uh, looks as though she might well just hang on here. It's Twenty meters to go. But, yeah, uh, she's still Sadie, there. Sadie Faulkner beside her is coming through to put in a late challenge. The swimmer from our both. Certainly getting closer and, uh, now. Yeah, that's a uh, good in, uh, finish there. Lane six. Lane six, yeah. And then Bright coming yeah. through, I think, probably just to get it yeah, at the touch. Nine nice strong good finish from yeah. Erin. The Morpeth swimmer comes through, 239.90, just to take it from Sadie Faulkner. And Chloe Kirk just dropped out into fourth area fourth service. Place, yeah, yeah. Coming into third, just snatching third at the death, but... Uh, all changed in that last 50, Yeah, Maggie. that final 50 made a big difference there. If we move on, ready now to heat three. So entry times in this range from 2.34.5 to 2.35.80. So we'll see if they get close to that one in this, okay. Matty. Uh, very good start there. And uh, lane two. So let's see what the swimmers are here. Isla Dobson, City Glasgow's in zero. Uh, Gemma Coots from South Aberdeen is in lane one. Ella Garrow from Elgin is lane two. And three, it's Caitlin Reid, Warrender Baths. Four, Zeeve Lamont from Glenrothes. Five, Rachel McGowan from South Lanarkshire. Six, from City Glasgow's Anna Campbell. Seven, Imogen Lowe, South Aberdeen. And lane eight, Beth Craig from Aberdeen. And in nine, Jasmine Robertson, Aberdeen. Jasmine Robertson, 35 6, six at the uh, first 50 there, Robert. Yeah, or out very strong on that far yeah. side, Matty. And got a good body length advantage at this early stage. See if she can keep this going. Teammate yeah. uh, close beside her as well. Beth Craig. Jasmine's still ahead here. Two Aberdeen girls going well, Matty, over yeah, that far that side. certainly are. One and two, yeah. Then the side beside there coming up to the turn. Pretty much bang on yeah. side, side by side there, Robert. Tenth in it. It's a uh, 40 57 split there, yeah. Let's see if the two teammates keep it up. Caitlin Reid coming through quite strongly now in uh, lane three, Matty, yeah, to put a wee challenge she in here. She had a fantastic start as well. Certainly pushing the yeah. Aberdeen girls now. Yeah, the Wonder girl looks uh, 
And so she's got the measure on her now. She's just starting to edge away there, Robert. Yeah. And it looks like Beth's just slightly pulled away from Jasmine, uh, her teammate out in uh, lane eight there. So at the turn, that is Caitlin Reid, 156.71 for her. She's gummed up a wee half second advantage mm -hmm. over the uh, Aberdeen girl, Beth El Cake. Ella Garo now into third place. Let's see how they well, come down this final part now. It's all done and dusted now, I the Wonder Girls. Yeah. Uh, she's really powering down this final stretch, Matty. Yeah, yeah. Finalist of these districts and uh, looking good. Good camera yeah. shot there. Still got a fight back from Beth Craig out there in lane nine. And zero. And that's Isla Dobson putting a sprint on towards the end. No doubt about the, uh, the winner in that heat. Yeah. Very strong heat from Caitlin. 236.37. A uh, very good swim there from uh, Caitlin. 236.37. Beth Craig. Isla Dobson second, Beth Craig third. Yeah, good swims there. Good swim, strong swim from Ella Garo as well. As we were saying, uh, these times are a wee bit slower um, than uh, the entry times. We've been voting the uh, heat four now. Your entry times uh, ranging from 230, 261 through 234. Isabel Cr Cr Crone from Hart Midlothian, N01. Ella Chambers from Ithan, two. Elizabeth Morgan, Highland Swim Team, three. Anna Tichenko, City of Glasgow, four. Alexandra Miller, Fault House Penguins. In five, Olivia Caldwell, City Glasgow, six. Leona Bedborough from Incas, seven. Anna Easton, Dundee City Aquatics, eight. Amber Littlejohn, University of Aberdeen Performance. And in nine, Ella Wheaton, East Lothian Swim Team. And a quick start from Amber Littlejohn, early in eight. Yeah, nice start from Anna over in seven. And... Uh, Beside her, Amber Little, John over on that far side, uh, probably one two, also well there in zero, Ella Krohn yeah. and uh, Anna Tichenko in lane three. Yeah, Isabel going still, well there, yeah. I think it's still over the far side, uh, just the advantage, Anna from uh, yeah. Amber, yeah, 35 Anna, yeah. 07. A wee bit faster again. 35 07, Amber Little, John 35 47. You see, Matty, yeah, low 220, uh, 230s here, 230, 251 to 234, 30. Yeah. It'd be nice to see somebody get to under. close to those times yeah. or under. It's very slightly over in the first two or three heats, so, yeah, we'll look and see where this takes us in still at the moment. Well, four or, four or five uh, in with a good chance here. Now, watching the turn here, yeah, it's been dragged right back now. Olivia Caldwell's Caldwell. just sneaked into the lead. 114.48. And Easton's still well there though. Anna Tichenko, City Glasgow swimmer, not out of it. Right. Nice camera shot there, Matty. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good leg there for uh, for Olivia, City Glasgow swimmer. Um, she, I think, is maybe just starting to edge a wee bit further ahead there. Robert, she's yeah, just she starting looks, to get uh, a little bit stronger there, is she? Yeah. Keep an eye on just uh, gone maybe half a metre clear here. Isabella here, Hartman Lothian swimmer in zero. Yeah, Possibly she certainly makes some late second. headway. Yeah, she could be a bit a serious danger down the final stretch. 38-73. She's gone three quarters uh, of a second faster on that last 50 and beginning really to get the bit between her teeth here. Coming very strongly down the final stretch to put in a challenge, but at the moment Olivia, Olivia Cole looks, still looks uh, yeah. though she's got the measure of her. It looks like she's uh, she swam a really good race here. Yeah. And Easton still well there uh, over on the far side for maybe third place. Uh, you can see the camera shot. It's uh, yeah. Olivia Caldwell. Very looks good swim from Olivia there. Coming down to take that one. Anna Easton maybe just going to take second. Well, Anna Tichenko, yeah. as we'll call it, was tight. Olivia's went under. Six hundreds uh, between third, second, third and fourth, but no doubt, Olivia Caldwell, nice swim from her, 232.42. Quicker and ahead uh, of her uh, qualifying time as a well. Wee bit, I think that's the fastest uh, swim by anyone under their actual uh, entry time. That's uh, the very first one we've seen out of the four heats. So far, yeah, so yep. far, yeah. 
So I'm just about halfway through. To eight, five to and nine now. Number five. Two thirty one seven four, quickest qualifier, Caitlin Peebles, he's slow then. So you maybe hear the whistle by the referee that uh, gets the swimmers in. The referee will whistle again and the uh, swimmers all get into position and then we'll get the starting signal. And off we go. So lane zero, Taylor Smith from St Thomas and ones, Bronwyn Payne from Best, two, Rosie Liston, City of Glasgow, three, Chloe Semple, South Lanarkshire, four, Caitlin Peebles from East Lothian, lane five, is Poppy Shaw from Best, six is Thea Glenn from City of Glasgow, seven, Lisa McNair from Stirling Swimming, in lane eight, Emily McDougall from Highland, and in lane nine from Ren 96, Kayleigh Moulton. 2-3-1-74, Caitlin Peebles was the quickest qualifier here. Let's see at their first turn. That's Bronwyn Payne, 34-7-2, and very closely followed by Emily McDougall. 34.9 for Emily. Rosie Liston in third. Another Highland swimmer there, Emily McDougall. Swims for a home club of Thurzo. Swimming with Highland Swim Team is the uh, composite. Yeah, you'll know all those uh, swimmers pretty well, Matty, up know, by that neck yes, of the woods. Yeah, from that part, yeah, I know quite a lot of them. So looking down, let's see the early leader oh, coming up first. Yeah, Get pushed by Emily here. Yeah, but yeah. Black cap of East Lothian Swim Team. She does Caitlin turn. Peebles, 112.96. Well, that's a significantly faster than anything. Lisa McNair, uh, wee sister of Susie, who will be swimming later on, who's uh, switched over to Stirling recently. Uh, she's really come on leaps and bounds in the last uh, three to six months since she's moved. And it's no surprise to see her uh, well there. The uh, yeah. Stirling swimmer going particularly strongly now. Caitlin yeah. Peebles just dropping back a wee bit here, Matty. Yeah, and Lisa does look like she's just pulling that lead a little bit further each stroke, Robert. Yeah. Up to the turn now. Silver medalist at the summer meet and uh, sorry, bronze medalist at the summer meet finalist at this event and she's uh, she struck the front 152.61. Well, Big Sister was always always better in the longer uh, stages of the race and uh, maybe the genes are uh, there with uh, the younger sister. I can, like I can imagine. Good. Yeah, I can imagine. So looking at towards the end of this uh, heat now as we come down, it is still Lisa Ritz uh, ahead and she will be taking first place here. Can she get under 2.30? Not quite, but a cracking swim nevertheless. Very good swim from Lisa. Uh, Takes from over a second off her entry time, Matty, which uh, would probably be a short course conversion, 2.32.10. Emily yeah, good swim nice from, swim from her from as well. There. A good swim from Emily. From Ireland's swim team up your neck of the woods. She'll be pleased with that. And yeah, she'll be delighted with that. Emily will be delighted with that. And uh, the last from the borders, Bronwyn Payne, 2.34.45. Coming in to take third. Well done to her. Mentally, our sixth heat. That's the swimmers on your screen in zero. Lucy McLeod from first. In lane one, Jessica Beaton, Aberdeen Dolphins. Two, Abigail Crawford, City Glasgow. Three, Ilsa Club, Aberdeen Dolphins. Four, Leah Rafferty, Western Bartonshire. Five, Susan Smith from first. Six, Tegan Black, East Lothian Swim Team. Seven, Lucy Diagrosa from Best. Eight, Emily Creaney from Cumbernauld. And nine, Molly Weir from Swim West Lothian. Well, 230.4 to 231.6, Matty. Yeah. Can we get a sub-230? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at this one, Robert. There's certainly swimmers in here that can do that. Leah Rafferty, the fastest uh, qualifier. So this is the last of the unseeded heats. And it is Tegan Black, I think, that's just edged the way there. And well, lane six with Blackheart from East Lothian. She had a good uh, meet at the uh, Edinburgh International and uh, she would want to do the uh, very same here. 9 9, yeah. Robert's just taking that. Again. Half a second lead over that first 50. Come on, old Summer Emma Creaney going well over in lane 8. 
and then Tegan Black uh, there, yeah. always takes it out strongly in everything she does. And she's certainly uh, she certainly edged her right out in the head uh, ahead here, Robert. That's a, a good good strong lead she's got as we approach five metres from the, uh, the halfway mark. And all of these swimmers know yeah, that uh, they have to take it out strong if they want to have any chance of yeah. getting into this evening's final. But 110, 110 28, that's 36-26. So if she can do a couple of uh, 37 and a half, so we're in the sort of mid 220s territory definitely here. On course. And uh, oh, she's looking very good, Matty. So comfortable out there, Robert. So comfortable. Abigail Crawford in lane two going well, as is uh, Emma Craney. They're swimming really good races, uh -huh. those girls, but uh, compared to uh, our leader, it's uh, like chalk and cheese. Well, that's Tegan coming up to the wall already, and she's taking that turn. 148.55, well, a 38.27 for that split, Robert. Yeah, we're maybe in the, the 227 territory here. Certainly, but yeah. Certainly sub 230 comfortably if she can just keep this. She's got to work hard, though. She still looks very comfortable, Robert. You can, uh, she is speeding up a little bit, so she's left something in the tank. I think we are going to see that sub 230 here. She can keep this up. You can see her camera shot of uh, our leader coming down. Lane six, Tegan Black. Great swim from wow. her. 227. We'll just wait for that to be confirmed. A very soft touch, so it might that might be the final time, uh, but we'll wait for that just to be confirmed yep. by our officials. Yeah, very comfortable for Tegan there. She made that look very easy, start to finish. You'd fancy that we'll get her into a final. Um, just for those uh, listening to us, uh, the 15, 18 year old age groups are split into three ages. Uh, top 10 in each age group, which is 15 year old, 16 year old, and it's joint 17 and 18, the older swimmers. Um, that's the category for making finals. So 2.27, 26 was the time, but um, what? often happens is uh, if the swimmer has a soft touch um, the backup time sometimes will be used if and there you have 226 23 that's just what i suspected matty she did hit the pad and then about a second or so later yeah. the time then registered and that sometimes happens if they don't hit the pad hard enough it doesn't register it's not the actual properly, touch. Yeah. but we do have uh, a backup button and uh, should that fail, we also have the stopwatch. The old stopwatch. The old watch. fashioned way. Yeah, yeah. So we move on to the first of the uh, seeded heats. In lane four, Gabby Freeman from Morpeth is the third fastest swimmer. So she goes in the fastest lane in the third fastest heat. So Alison Wood in zero from the Highland Swim Team. One is Abby McKerney from Inverclyde. Two, Zoe Crawford from first. Three, Kiana Kurtza, Warner Bass Club. Four, is Gabby Freeman from Morpeth. Five, Katie Rose, Wander Bass Club. Six, Mia McLeod from West Lothian. Seven, Emma McGavin from South Lanarkshire. Eight, Sydney Boyd from Midlothian. And in nine, Lucy Atherton from Heart of Midlothian. We did mention uh, swimmers from uh, out with Scotland. Nice to see uh, Morpeth as uh, they regularly do come up and support the meet. And uh, Gabby Freeman will be a strong fancy to try and take heat number three. She won this event last year, Matty. All right, yeah. She came up last year to right. swim at this meet. Nice. Very good start as well for her. Uh, Alison uh, in lane zero off very nicely in she might just be shading it at the moment, Matty, yeah. the Highland Swim Swimmer. Yeah, Tain, uh, Alison's from, is our home club. Again, one of these uh, composite uh, swimmers for Highland Swim Team. She went off pretty quick. So, uh, at the turn there, Zoe Crawford, 33.57. Garby Freeman second, Katie Rose in third. That's what you expect the, in the 
conceded heats, the swimmers in the middle lane should be prominent, and that is certainly the case. The two swimmers, uh, four and five, Katie Rose in lane five, and in lane four, it just seems to be uh, Gabby who just shades this, yeah. Matty. Very, very little in it as they come up to the turn here. Kind of cuts her the red cap in lane three, and uh, Zoe Crawford in lane two. Those four will. Just begin to pull clear, Stamp, Matty. Yeah, the two of them are uh, just starting to edge away there. Uh, but they're neck and neck. We're um, potentially in for a good fight for the last part of this heat. But like you say, the favourites coming into it, four and five. Gabby Freeman and Katie Rose. Katie, a finalist in this last year, but, uh, you know, I'm sure she'll be... Uh, trying her very best to get the better of uh, Gabby in this. Yeah, head and shoulders ahead as she takes that turn. 36.95, so quite a fast 50 there. And split, 145.96. Gabby swimming as a 16-year-old uh, and the 17-age, 17-18-year-old category, Katie Rose in second place. So different age categories. And Kiana Kutsa, K yeah. uh, the, wonder, the other wonder swimmer, She's uh, 16, so she had a different age group. So, uh, and there you go with that last uh, 50 there. Pretty she's comfortable. Pulled swim. away from it, yeah. So, great, great leg there for Gabby Freeman finishing her 221.28. Entry time at 219.09. She won't worry too much. She's, she knows fine. She'll when, got that. When you're in yeah. those middle lanes, do enough to make sure uh, you qualify. You're coming back. Yeah, very, very strong last 50 there. So, th as long as the swimmers uh, in those middle lanes, Marty, do it just enough uh, and can comfortably see that uh, they've, they've won that or they're in the top three. We'll then, be seeing uh, them later on for the won't, final. They won't uh, give it everything. So, our penultimate heat, Jessica Kirkwood in lane zero from University of Aberdeen. One, Maya Rogers from Mordor Bass Club. Two, Safina Machen, City Glasgow. Three, Zara Kravitz from East Lothian Swim Team. She's uh, just 15. She's the youngest swimmer in this one. Eight, sorry, in, in four, Melissa Mainwaring from Swim West Lothian. Five, Catherine Renfrew from Perth City. Six, Rosie Foster, Mordor Bass Club. Her teammate, Naomi Wilson, goes in seven. Eight, Erin Ferris from Cumbernauld. And nine, Madison Cool from University of Aberdeen Performance. Yeah, and Bucky Swimmer. Yeah, as you say, Zara Kravis, East Lothian Swimmer from Trinent, 15 year old. The rest being 17, 16, 17, 18s, fastest qualifier. 218.5, that's Melissa Mainwaring from West Lothian. Yeah, finalist in this last year, and quite a few of these swimmers, uh, as we said, uh, down at the British Championships last week. So hopefully they've recovered, they've not had much time to get back up the road and back up to Aberdeen no, from... A, uh, a, a short stint of rest, yeah, you're right. it's a long... Catherine Renfrew, 33.49. And Ferris, 33.68. And Melissa Mainwaring, 33.98. Early doors, though. Let's uh, see where they come down this next 50. Yeah, the red cap of Perth City's uh, Catherine Renfrew looking good at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, just a very slight lead at the moment over Catherine, uh, over uh, Melissa Mainwaring. If you look at lane six and lane five, uh, different types of stroke, uh, much slower stroke there from Catherine and getting plenty of pull out of the water, whereas a faster turnover in lane six from Rosie Foster. Wonder yes. swimmer. Very good turn underwater work there from Zara Kravitz in lane three. There's still a lot. To play far away with, with these swimmers, Robert. Yeah. Well, it's a main wearing coming through nicely in lane four. The light blue cap of Swim West Lothian. And Melissa and uh, Catherine almost together. Yeah, they've certainly bunched up now. It looks like uh, Catherine is just touching it ahead on 4.790, so half a second ahead of Melissa in wearing coming down in the last 50. Sabina Machen uh, trying to make a late surge. Hanging on to it though, Catherine. I think all these 
three girls uh, done enough. It's whether they roll out to push on to win the heat. See how they compare to Garby's time previously, 2.21, 2.8. Catherine coming in, per se, 2.24.89. Very steady swims from those three girls. Yeah. And Zara Kravis uh, finishing in fourth position. That will comfortably see her in the final. It's one of the fastest 15-year-olds, possibly yeah. the fastest 15-year-old. Depends uh, what happens here. We have uh, another 15-year-old in this heat. This final heat, we'll just wait for that to be confirmed. Nothing showing on the screen, so it might be a, another time that needs to be adjusted, Matty. Yeah, I think that I think that's what's happening in the background there, Robert. Yeah. Just waiting for confirmation of that coming through. So that now official. So if there has been adjusted time, it's uh, on your screen. And it's gone. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you don't have much time to, to take a note, but... Uh, and moving on now on. to the final heat. Zero nice. Gemma Brown from Carnegie 1, Emma Aiken, University of Aberdeen Performance. Two, Ailey Armstrong, East Lothian Swim Team. Three, Maria Howe from University of Aberdeen Performance. Four, Susie McNair, Stirling Swimming. Five, Heidi Wren, City Glasgow. Six, Coco Coxford, South Lanarkshire. Eight, sorry, seven, Maya Cheshire Elgin. Eight, Natalie Cooper, Wander Bass Club. And nine, Victoria Grabowska from yeah, West Dumbartonshire. Well, not quite sure whether it was a, whether it's been a false start or whether it was a problem with the starting mechanism. Ooh, uh, Summer's all in the water. Yeah, it may well be that... Uh, yeah, they're moving faulty on the start. start yeah, uh, so. so if there's been a faulty start, uh, then the swimmers get to back. So just keep a wee eye on this one. You've got that red marker that you see in your screen. That's the 15 meter marker. Swimmers uh, must surface. Red must surface no later than uh, that 15 meter mark. And uh, you see that most of them are getting a good 10 metres in this, this fastest heat. Yeah, and there's certainly an arc to getting that right, Robert, yeah. with that underwater work. You get as close to that mark as you possibly can. You're giving yourself every chance. So there's 50 metres in. Maria Howe, 32.84. Ahead is Susie McNair and Ailey Armstrong. Interesting to see uh, whether Susie takes this out very strongly or she just does enough to uh, comfortably qualify because she's got an entry time of 2.13.40 which is uh, some five seconds faster on paper so she should in theory uh, yeah, totally and dominate she's this. she's looking very comfortable yeah, very controlled very first, good all rounder Susie very uh, controlled first hundred metres there so yeah I think you're right I'll be surprised if she uh, she goes all out at this part we'll be looking for that qualification for the final Still ahead of Maria Howe and Ailey Armstrong. Second quickest qualifier in. This yeah. is uh, Heidi Wren from yeah. City Glasgow, 2.19. As you say, some six seconds behind Susie. Yeah, yeah Susie looking very, very strong indeed in this one. And up to the turn. Very controlled. One, four, three, seven, eight for Susie. Fifth at the uh, Ontario meet uh, when she was uh, part of that Scotland team that went out there a few months back. And uh, you can see her qualities in this 143 at uh, three quarters of the That's way through. And, great uh, shot from her there, Robert. Two, two or three seconds faster than uh, Gabby Freeman. Susie uh, swimming in the 17, 18 year old category, moving into that older age group. But uh, very, very steady swim. Still very quick. Made it look so easy. <laughs> Good swim from Maria Howe, though. 2.23.11. She, she'll be very pleased with that one. Uh, and that a couple of seconds quicker, slower. Quicker uh, qualifying time. time for Susie there as well. Under her qualifying time, 2.19.70. And uh, Susie's uh, 
ex-teammate Coco Crocksford now over at East Kilbride, um, sewing under the South Lanarkshire banner, finishing in third, 227.09. So what will happen is uh, we'll get a, a summary, uh, or potentially we should have a summary, but uh, we move on. Summary of uh, those swimmers, no, not there because uh, it's all mixed. Sometimes get a summary, but uh, not not here today. So we move on to the backstroke. It's 100 this time. Nine heats for this. Jonathan McLean, East Lothian swim team in zero. One, Alexander McNiven, Wonder Bass Club. Two, Archie Lorimer from Clitheroe. Three, Tom Massey from Alfred. Four, Cole Murphy, City Glasgow. Five, Adam Russell, Belsall Shacks, 6, Fergus Street from Geary, 7, Lucas Rattray from Alford, 8, Jasper Harrison from Best, and 9, The Hysterica, South Ayrshire. Times 108, 20 to 109, 50. So this will be uh, a bit faster from the guys. I want to crack on for uh, possible qualification. For most of these guys, it's uh, trying to uh, get a PB in the slowest of the nine heats. Good strong start yeah. over in lane five from uh, Aaron Russell. Cole Murphy in lane four, oh, also yeah. trying to sticking with him. Yeah, I think Cole Murphy just edged there. Fastest off the blocks was uh, Jasper Harrison, but uh, fell back a little bit after a great start. So uh, coming up to that halfway mark as... Aaron Russell, 31.96. Ahead of Cole Murphy. The Bells Hill swimmer. In lane five. The red cap there. And uh, looks like the Bells Hill lad just shades it. But, uh, Cole Murphy trying to come through strongly. The Asterica yeah, on is. the far side. South Asia really getting it a bit between his teeth now. He's really motoring down the far end. But I think the two boys in the middle... Cole and Aaron are just going to shoot this one. It's going to be right at the touch with here. With Aaron third. Oh, it's very tight for third, maybe lane one. Oh, it's a blanket finish for third place. Fergus Street just snatched third. Good, fin Cole good Murphy. finish from Cole there. Yeah. Cole Murphy, yeah. Some very fast swims there, Matty. Yeah. 107, 46. Some yeah, potentially very, good PBs all very round. Very close, right to the wall. I'm going into heat two now. And uh, the swimmers from Bells Hill in zero is Logan McDonald. Lane one's Alec Taylor from East Lothian. Two's Max Miller from Western Bartonshire. Three's Lewis Maxwell Pills from Warrender Baths. Four's Daniel Henry, City Glasgow. Five, Alec Tinge from Stirling Swimming. And six is Fraser Kerry from South Ayrshire. Seven is Dexter Souter from Aberdeen Dolphin. Lane eight's Elliot Stephen from Faltus. And in nine, it's Hamish Maxwell South. 106.9 through to 108.2 is your qualifying time. Lane 4, Daniel Henry, City Glasgow swimmer. Quickest qualifier, 106.9. And he looks like he's uh, taking a very early lead. Alex Taylor in lane 1 also pushing down fast but at the moment. Between these two. And now looking at lane three, that's Lewis Maxwell Powers, one the bath swimmer, coming through. Let's see the turn. Yeah, looks like Lewis, just as you say, Marty, 32-38. Yeah, uh, Alex Taylor se second, Fraser Kelly third. It's always going to be close in these heats. It's 100 metres. And it's been a good swim so far from Lewis. Still looking good in yeah. the final stretch. Daniel Henry's trying to get back in terms, though. Still got a head and shoulders, but it is bunching up now as they come up to that first five metres. Can Lewis hang on to it? Certainly getting a bit of competition yeah. here at the touch. I think it is Lewis, is it? Yeah, Lewis, Daniel, yeah, and four that Four one hundredths of a second ahead of Daniel Henry there. Where he's hanging out to death there and just managed to uh, pull enough out. Good race, Marty. That was uh, very close here. Yeah, yeah good, good, strong finish here as well. It's confirmation 107 
three tenths of a second quicker than the previous seat. So we on to our 30. And there's uh, confirmation, Lewis, Daniel and Fraser. Two hundreds separating them. So on to the third of nine heats in this event. 100 metres back short, Wayne Zeros, Daniel Hay from West Lothian and one Dean Bergatti from South Lanarkshire. Two is Jake Breakin from Aberdeen Dolphin. Three is Miller Cunningham from Glenrothes. Four, Jed Armitage from Highland. Five is Henry Shalive Barnes from Aberdeen Dolphin. Six, Kai Fern, Aberdeen Dolphin. Seven is Declan Kay from East Lothian. Eight is Kyle Harper from South Ayrshire. And lane nine from Cumbernauld is Adam Merrick. 10590 um, qualifying times for both Jed Armitage and Henry Shalive Barnes. And uh, one oh, from 1059 up to 1068. So again, one of these, Robert, Very strong we can't call this round. yet. Yeah. Might just be lane four now coming through Jed Armitage. There's a boy, Jed, yeah. swimming for Highland Swim Team. Finalist at North District Age Group, so he's uh, out strongly, but half a second advantage at yeah. halfway. That's a good 50 for Jed there. And he's looking strong at the moment. Oh, Cunningham, uh, bronze medalist at East Districts uh, in second place in the turn. Henry, July uh, Barnes there, just starting to push a little bit, but I think Jed's made this Jed's, one his own. Oh, certainly well clear over the far side, trying to get in tight. Touches uh, yeah. Kyle Harper and Adam Merrick. Ad Adam Merrick, Kyle Harper, maybe second and third, but no doubt about the winner. That's a good time. winner, 104.98. It's a second. It was, it was over on the far side. Uh, Adam Merrick just pip pipping Kyle Harper by three hundreds for second and third. Cameron Old and South Ayrshire, respectively. So on to the fourth heat. Well, we did see it was going to be pretty fast and furious. Sticking fast now. Freddie Walker in zero from Cheltenham. One, Aidan Bruce, Aberdeen. Two, Fraser van der Moulen, Stirling Swimming. Three, Connor Aspinall, East Lothian Swim Team. Four, Ruben Pearson, Bells Hill Sharks. Five, Max Tumbrell from Middle Lothian. Six, Jake Ferguson from first. Seven, Jason Dixon, Stirling Swimming. Eight, Tom Jeffords, Ren 96 and Nile. Nine, Kel Mossman from the city of Glasgow. Be interesting to see how uh, Conor Aspinall swims just back from uh, leg break. Uh, been swimming for the last maybe couple of months, so All right. we'll see how he goes in lane three. 15 year old from the Slowly swim team. There's the Van der Moulin in, uh, in lane two. Another 15 year old, but uh, he's a wee bit off the pace. Aidan Bruce going Aiden, well yeah, in one. Aidan's had a good start there. Yeah. Important to get a good start because if you don't, then you've not got. Uh, you only got a hundred. Yeah. It's uh, virtually done and dusted if you're really slowly off the blocks. Uh, Conor Aspinall. It's the leader, 3107. Three one hundreds ahead of Freddie Walker there. And again, four one hundreds over Aidan Bruce. So. Uh, Connor Aspinall is still going to well, Connor. Pushing out ahead here. All very tight though. I think Connor Aspinall is just hanging He's on here. And no more. Freddie Walker, Aidan Bruce. Uh, well, it's uh, late seven. Jason, Jason Dixon, Dixon makes Nick. Uh, oh, it was, it was touch and go. Freddie Walker just takes that 104.18 from Jason Dixon, 104.57. Connor Aspinall, 104.74. Well, fast finishing, Jason Dixon sneaked in just at the death to take that one. Yeah, it's not over till it's over. 104, 18. Four tenths a second quicker than the previous seat winner, Jed Armitage. Yeah. And, uh, Stirling, uh, swimming uh, again to the four with uh, Jason. Yeah. So on to the Fifth heat in just a wee moment. Just wait for uh, our fourth heat to be confirmed again. Uh, maybe just double checking all those times match with uh, the touches and everything. 
It's, uh, times are important for some of these guys for potentially maybe scraping into a final. Especially when it comes to these hundreds sprints. We're just waiting on confirmation of that coming through right. before we move on to heat five. Let's see, it'll be interesting to see how Connor uh, swims in uh, the freestyle events. That's uh, his uh, real 40. Good to see him back competing after being out for quite a number of months with uh, that foot injury. So that uh, uh, confirmed as we move on to heat number five. Ishmael Shalaby in lane zero from East Lothian swim team. One, Tom Ingalls, Western Bartonshire. Two, Tyler Spaulding, Carnegie. Three, Cal MacArthur, Mugambi Estend. Four, Ron Brown from Elgin. Five, Matthew McMillan, Incas. Six, Fergus Woodward from Portobello. Seven, Adam Prusick, Aberdeen Dolphins. Eight, Finlay Guinness from Lyric. And nine, Oscar Chirnside from Geary. Another good start in lane six, Fergus Woodward. And Callum MacArthur there had a very good start. Yeah. He was a very early leader. But now watching Rowan Brown pull that back, as well as Fergus Woodward from Portobello in six. Fergus Woodward, uh, Adam Prusik, 30 40, Ishmael Shalaby also on the near side. So Lane's uh, six and seven, pretty close, Matty, yeah. Fergus and Adam. And Adam maybe just shading it. Just Ishmael. ahead, yeah, just ahead of uh, Fergus there. And maybe just stretching it out a little bit, Robert. Yeah, yeah. Adam looking good now. Just beginning to pull through. Ishmael Shalaby also well there in the near side. Yeah, Ishmael's came right through there. Ishmael maybe just gets oh, this one. He has. Well, not quite. Six hundreds in it. Adam 104.23. Good finish from Ishmael there. And Fergus. 104.47 takes third. So, last of the unseeded heats in zero. Dylan McCombie, South Aberdeen. One, Connor Christophers from Aberdeen Dolphins. Two, Manor Drysdale, Wanda Bascom. Three, Cal McKenzie from Perth City. Four, Lewis Gibson, South Ayrshire. Five, David Landman, City Glasgow. Six, Richard Laws, Dundee City Aquatics. Seven, Jonah Turnbull, Midlothian. Eight, Archie Smith, Aberdeen Dolphins. And nine, Andrew Smith from South Aberdeen. Chat, 103.10 to 103.80. Well, let's see if we can get some of them in the, the 103 category in this one. Yeah, oh, very 104s close. is the uh, fastest we've seen so far. And they're probably needing to do something like a 101 to get maybe near a final for some of these guys. Manu Drasdale first to stop the uh, start. Yeah, yeah, nice start from Conor Christophers in uh, lanes one. Manu Drasdale, as you see, well there and coming through to challenge along with Lewis Gibson in lane four. South Yorkshire swimmer Lewis Gibson coming through very strongly, running up at West District recently. And it is Manu Drasdale 30.79 at the turn. Lewis Gibson second ahead of Jonah Turnbull. Let's see if Manuel can keep this on. Red well, hat swimmer there is pulling, pulling away. away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's making this, definitely making this one his own. It's going to be Manuel Drasdale taking it first. 103.50 was his qualifying time. Looking comfortably under that. Well, that's. 257. Uh, that might. Give him a, a swim this evening. That's a good swim uh, inside his entry time. So he's uh, in the 17, 18 year old category. So he'll have to, uh, now to the hope some of the swimmers in the f faster heats don't swim quite as fast and he gets in this uh, First heat coming up is the first of the three seeded heats. Let's wait for uh, confirmation of that last event. Still uh, double checking the times. 
That uh, now confirm. Mano, now. Lewis and Callum are one, two, three. One to heat seven. And uh, in lane zero from Warren de Bath here in Drake. And one from Perth City, it's Finlay Bruce. And two from Carnegie, it's James Kilpatrick. And three from Hamilton, Dubai, it's Carnish Chakraborty. And four from East Lothian, Callum Peebles. Six from Stirling Swimming, it's Logan van der Moulin. And lane six. So that was lane five and lane six from South Lanarkshire, Ethan Stewart. Ethan Stewart and seven, Harry Sharp from Warren de Bath. Lane eight, it's Nathan Wilson from Carnegie. And then lane nine from South Aberdeenshire, it's Torrent Lover's Edge. Three sub-minute qualifiers in here, fastest being Callum Peebles with a 58.5. See if we can get these three under the minute here. Strong start from Callum Peebles. He's still in seven. Also going well, Harry Sharp over in seven, Matty. Yeah. But Callum Peebles Callum looks got as though he's uh, got this one. Uh, not saying in the bag yet, but he's looking strong. Yeah, 28 4 3 for Callum there. Over half a second ahead of Harry Sharp. And comfortable coming down the back leg here now. Harry Sharp trying to pull this back. In fact, he is. is he, I'm not sure he's got enough distance left in that to do it, Robert, but he's certainly getting uh, closer towards the end here. I think Callum Peebles is just going to nick that. Logan Vaden Mullen in third place. But uh, Callum's just, uh, I don't say coasted to, to victory in that one, but done enough. 59-15. He was certainly in control of it, there's no doubt about that. Harry Sharp, 59-80. Logan Vardin Mullen, 1-0-20. And we'll be moving on to the second. Ethan Stewart. Uh, further down the field in fifth place. Second the heated seat, uh, yeah. series heats coming up now. Another swimmer who's uh, been out with a uh, bit of illness and coming back. So I'm sure he's got enough out that uh, swim probably to get him into a final. And this is heat eight of nine. This is it second of the seeded. In lane zero from South Lanarkshire, it's Jack Simpson. And one from Warren de Bass is Robbie Boyd. Two uh, from Monty Feith is Liam Gorzinski. And three from Midlothian's Finlay Davis. Four from Stirling University is Lucas Brown. Five from Geary, Kyle Mitchell. Lane six from U University of Aberdeen Performance, Logan Jackson. And seven, it's uh, Finlay Sant. Stand by, has there been a slight change there? I'll correct myself in a minute. Lane eight. Tom Armitage from Highland Swim Team and nine is Cedar Gullen from Wallander Baths. It is Kyle Muirhead. Correction for me, who's swimming in lane seven. Again, three sub minute swimmers in here Finlay Davis, Lucas Brown, Kyle Mitchell. Yeah, Lucas Brown uh, always been a very good backstroker and uh, well to the fore again in this one. 27 88. The halfway. Way out in front here, yeah. Lucas. Third in this event last year. Yeah, we want to win this one this year. Go out in a high. It's a very quick time, 58.56. For Lucas here. It's Elgin Swimmer, I believe, Lucas, yeah, before yeah. he moved to university. Yes. Uh, In his earlier years, uh, national age group champion, you know, at 13 and 14, so he's before COVID, he was uh, very much uh, to the fore. He's uh, like a lot of the swimmers had to just continue working hard. And, right through uh, it, yeah. Good that he's still performing at a nice high level. Moving on to the final heat in zero Ethan Collins, Bell Silk Sharks, one Jacob Light Morpeth, two Corey Phillip, Dundee City Aquatics. In lane three, it's Jack Doherty Simpson from City Glasgow. Four is Dean Fern, Aberdeen Dolphins. Five, Adam Scott, Ray 96. Six, Edward Bell from Seagulls. Seven, Jensen Norris, Pear City. Eight, Benji Jeffries, Cynthia Shard. And nine, 
Conan Swinney from Gateshead in Wickham. At least we've got Jack Doherty Simpson in this one, not beside him, Jack Simpson. It always confuses me because the two boys from uh, the West District, but a uh, strong start from Dean Fern. That's just what watching, you'd expect from yeah, Dean. Yeah, watching Dean's underwater work there is he's just right on the right on the button every single time, and you can see the lead that that's given him coming up right at that 15 metre mark. 27-3-3 for Dean. We'll wait and see what happens this evening, uh, whether we see a junior record from well, Dean again. Yeah. He already holds that record, 56-10. Uh, and then stretched away as Dean now. See who's fine for second. Might Jack just Docker be Jack Docker Simpson, Simpson yeah. from Adam Scott, the end swimmer in five, who's going well. And that's Dean just coming to the wall now. Edward Bell. 58-4-1 for Dean. Oh, if, if we thought that uh, in the previous uh, one, Lucas Brown was coasting, that yeah. wasn't even coasting. <laughs> so nice to see his, uh, Dean's underwater work. It really is so accomplished off the, uh, off the start. His underwater work is incredible. Well done to Edward Ge Bell from Seagulls coming in third there. Another swimmer from... Uh, South of Border, who uh, comes up regularly to these meets. So, so I think we'll be comfortably in a final this evening. So we stay with 100 metres. It's still pretty fast. It's freestyle now. Nine heats to look forward to. So heat one here, your swimmers are in lane zero. It's Tia Reedy from Mulgay and Bears Den. In one, it's Sienna Melville from Stirling Swimming. In two, it's Annabelle Scarf to Aberdeen Dolphin. Three, is Addison Cole from South Lanarkshire. Four, Kirsty Breakin from Aberdeen Dolphin. Five, is Isabella Cohen from Heart of Midlothian. Six, Lacey Padfield from Redditch. Seven, Isla Crawford from Beckenham. Eight, Leona Bedborough from Inkers. And nine, is Emily Jackson from Newcastle. Just a slight pause here as the officials get this one ready to go. Uh, Beckenham swimmer, South London. Is that uh, the same Beckenham? Beckenham Kent, yeah, yeah, Kent, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. It's a place I lived many, many years ago. Yeah. Isla Crawford. Nice, nice part of the country, Kent. It's, yeah. It's actually part of it's, London. It's that, virtually, yeah, yeah Bromley, just within yeah, the outskirts of London. Sort of yeah. Beckenham's very much Te like Technically, a, it's Kent, but a it's. A village on its own yeah, in there, I'll tell yeah. you. It's beautiful. Yeah. Like places like Surrey that are actually almost in London. As Leafy well. suburbs, yeah. 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 Off we go then. But from the leaf leafy suburbs of Aberdeen uh, <laughs> on to the good strong start in uh, lane four. Uh, Kirsty Beacon, Kirsty yeah. Beacon going well. Her side, uh, Emily Jackson uh, trying to get uh, into the picture as well. All the 104 qualifying times in this uh, first heat. 104 90 96 sorry through to 104 32. Looks though Kirsty's well it was the far side. Mm, Tia Reedy there. 29 30 2998 at turn. See if she can hang on to that. She certainly is, Robert. She's kept yeah. that lead. Yeah. Still about a half a metre to a metre ahead. Oh, the Breakin starting to pull it back now. Yeah, all very tight. Come up. In fact, yeah, I think Kirsty Breakin for Madison up. Cole. And also, well, they are uh, tier DDs. Well, Kirsty Breakin just pulled that 104 11. Tier DD 104 54. Yeah. Addison Cole 104 51. Playing at the end there. Just hanging on. So on to heat number two, Murn McPhee, Falthouse Penguins in zero. One, Anna Lee, Stirling Swimming. Two, Ella Cunningham, City Glasgow. Three, Emma Miller from Kintyre. Four, Iona Hicken from Mulgain Bearstead. Five, Emily Neal from Heart of Midlothian. Six, Amelia McLeod, Perth City. Seven, Imogen Lowe from South Aberdeen. Eight, Katie Wells, Glenrothes. And nine, Caelan Chan, Ren 96. 
Ella Cunningham fast off the start there. And Katie Wells out in lane eight. The first two early leaders. Well, that camera shot I think was maybe Iona Hicks in, uh, in lane four. And she's certainly coming through very strongly. Yeah. Going to be a stand swimmer from uh, Fortis Penguins, Ben McPhee, 30-51. See how the second half progresses. Ella Cunningham, Ella Cunningham coming through yeah. very strongly, the City Glasgow swimmer. And uh, I think she's just be beginning to dominate this uh, second half of the race. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's pulled away about a metre ahead of the rest of the field there, Robert, so she's going to yeah. comfortably take this heat. Third at the pre snags me and uh, winning this very comfortably indeed. Great swim from her, 102.96. Emma Miller takes second. Qatar uh, swimmer, 104.16. And Iowan Hickson from Gainesville. Zen makes it uh, a West of Scotland, 1, 2, 3, 104.49. Just over a second quicker than a qualifying time for Ella there. Moving on now to Heat 3 in lane 0. It's Victoria Junior from Midlothian. Lane 1, Isla Dobson from City Glasgow. And 2, it's Anna Dunlop from Dumfries. 3 is Inga Cummins from South Ayrshire. 4 is Abby McInerney from Inverclyde. 5 is Ava Ross, City Glasgow. 6 is Elena Sanderson from Perth City. Seven, Jessica Hill from first and eight, Poppy Shaw from best and then lane nine from Elgin's Ella Garrow. 103.50, Abbey's quickest qualifier in this heat. This heat's uh, nine heats in this one, so we're on heat three at the moment. And at the turn, Ava Ross 30.17, slightly down on the previous heat for Ava. Okay, we're probably looking at again round about a 103 mark for yep, a finish yep. here. I think Eva Ross just going to hang on to this. City Glasgow swimmer, Blue Heart there in lane five. Yeah, she looks as though she's comfortably won this yep. one. Jessica Hill maybe in second place over in uh, lane seven. And uh, could be lane eight. Poppy Shaw just taking third. 102. 66 for Eva. Yeah, very good second back 50 for her there. Jessica 103.23 and Poppy 103.64. So moving on to our fourth heat in zero. Anna Campbell, City of Glasgow 1, Alice Perry, Warner Bass Club 2, Millie Convent, Dumfries 3, Emily McDougall, the Highland Swim Team 4. Riley McIntosh, Dundee City Aquatics, 5. Erin Ferris, Cumbernauld, 6. Sophie Allison, Western Bartonshire, 7. Katie Towers, South Lanarkshire, 8. Madison Stewart, University of Aberdeen Performance, and 9. Molly Weir, Swim West Lothian. Pretty good start in lane 4. That pink cat of Dundee City Aquatics, Riley McIntosh, just shading it. Uh, well there, Erin Ferris in 5. And Katie Towers, South Lanarkshire, in 7. On the near side, uh, Anna Campbell in zero and uh, Holly Convent. It's pretty tight though. Uh, Riley and Aaron pretty close. Emily McDougall. Anna Campbell, 29.67. Just shades it from Riley McIntosh. So the City Glasgow swimmer on the near side. Giving it everything. Riley McIntosh, pink cap in four. Well, it's. Could be anybody's uh, Millie Conville, Alice Perry in one, also getting into the mix. Oh, it's a tight finish Lane. here, Matty. Uh, yeah, Anna Campbell's, Anna uh, Campbell really looks pushing towards just uh, got this one. Lane zero here. I Lane think she's one. just touching it. Anna, Alice, yeah, Riley McIntosh just touched out. Anna Campbell takes that. That was a very, very strong swim from Anna there. Alice, 102.75, Riley McIntosh, 103.75. 17. Just hanging on at the death, Anna, but she pulled out just yep. enough. She did very well there. Yeah, that looks like a heart of Midlothian top in your camera shot. Uh, sort of maroon on the corner. This is um, heat five now, just about to start. And lane zero from Heart of Midlothian's Alice Mackey. Lane one's Isabella Abernethy, Aberdeen Dolphin. 
Two is Millie MacArthur for South Lanarkshire. Three is Perry Scobie from Stirling Swimming. Four is Lexi Lamont from Aberdeen. And five is Zoe Crawford from First. Six is Caitlin Reid from Warren de Baths. Seven is Katie Lowe from Glenrothes. Eight is Sydney Boyd from Midlothian. And in lane nine is Elsa Club from Aberdeen Dolphin. Fastest qualifier, Lexi, in 102.40. She's swimming in lane four, Aberdeen swimmer. Yeah, uh, she's flying. 29.27, Matty. 29.27 at this turn there, yeah. Probably looking at something like a 101. When Perry Scobie, though, has been uh, really swimming extremely strongly this yes. last six or seven months, and Perry she Scobie is, is flying. Pull, she's pulling that very, back. Very yeah. good breaststroker, but uh, getting all the strokes... Uh, so Nothing really in it between these two. Flying at the death. I think Perry Scobie's going to get this one. Perry is going to touch first. She did. 101.06. What a swim from Perry wow. Scobie. Coming back to 31.11. Yeah, very good strong swim there from Perry from Stirling yeah. Swimming. Yeah. That's it, out in a 30 and uh, back in a 31. That's a uh, cr cracking second half from Perry yep. Scobie. Yeah. So on to the penultimate heat. It's uh, before we get the uh, seeded heat, seat six. Emily Leslie, Stockport Metro in zero. One, Caitlin Urquhart, Highland Swim Team. Two, Sophie Steele, South uh, Ayrshire, three, Safina Machin, City Glasgow, four, Jessica Kirkwood, University of Aberdeen Performance, five, Stella McCarty, City Glasgow, teammate Gina Ren in six, seven, Madison Cool, University of Aberdeen Performance, six, sorry, eight, is Lucy Hall, East London Swim Team, and nine, Rose Dermott, Mulgain Bears Den. So we're hearing that there might well be a swim off uh, coming later. We'll bring that to you if that happens. Just Stella McCarty going pretty well in the middle lane, but Rose McDermott on the far side and Lucy Hall 29.53. Caitlin Urquhart also on this near side well there. Well, it's anybody's here, Matty. Yeah, uh, too close to call at the moment. That's three. Stella McCarty, I think, is uh, maybe just shading this one, but over in lane eight, giving it everything. Lucy Hall getting the arms really powering down, but I think Stella McCarty's got this. Stella McCarty takes that. 101.84. Second place, Sabina Machen, 102.42. Lucy Hall, 102.47. So City Glasgow, 1 2 with Stella and Safina. Under the uh, seeded heats now. Lane zero, it's Charlotte Toms, Thompson from Midlothian, and one's Heidi Wren from City Glasgow. Two is Georgina Hawkins from Faltus. Three, Ashley Drake, Warren de Baths. Four is Mary Mishenko, University of Aberdeen Performance. Five, Susan McNair from Stirling Swimming. Six is Evie Mackey from South Lanarkshire. Seven is Melissa Mainwaring, he's from West Lothian. Eight is Ella Pullman from Glenrothes. And in lane nine from first, it's Caitlin Frame. 58.50 from Mary Mishenko. She's the fastest Evie, qualifier. Uh, Evie Mackey actually drew off pretty well. Uh, they might just be shading it. Uh, like a wonder summer, maybe just uh, going to touch just, just in the touch lead. Ahead, I think. Yeah, she Ashley does. Drake, Mary Mishenko going well. Ukrainian swimmers uh, nicely positioned Mary Mishenko in lane four to put a challenge to uh, Ashley Drake. Susie McNair coming through late in five, as she always does. And Evie Mackey, that looks to be the one, two, three, four. Ashley Drake, Mary Mishenko, Susie McNair. I think that's how and it's finishing, Mackey. Robert. Will you give me that? Yeah. Good call, Ashley Drake. Nice swim from Ashley. Uh, we'll pretty sure we'll see all those four girls back this evening. Ella uh, Gil Murray, Dundee City Aquatics in zero. One, Grace Noonan, Mulgan Bears Den. Two, Mia McLeod, Swim Miss Lillian. Three, Phoebe Arbuckle, Warner Bass Club. 
Four is Catherine Renfrew per city. Five Sarah Kravis from East Lothian swim team. Six Natalie Marshall West swim West Lothian. Seven Melissa Turnbull Sterling swimming. Eight Lisa Connell City Glasgow teammate Ella Kennedy goes in lane number nine. Strong start again in lane one from Grace Noonan. She maybe just shades it, but she there's is about six, yeah. six or seven in a line here after we've gone 30 metres. Catherine Renfrew, a red cap of Per City. Maybe just uh, go to touch in a lead from Grace Noonan. And she does Catherine, Ren Catherine Renfrew there. But half a second in it. Four, six. Such a toughie to try and call these though when it's it a is. sprint like this, isn't it? Although I try hard. As I team. say that, Catherine Renfrew, Per City swimmer there in the bright red cap. Mia McLeod coming through strongly in lane two. And uh, in lane six, Natalie Marshall. Uh, yeah. Lane two from lane three, I think. Phoebe Arbuckle. Catherine Renfrew, comfortable winner in 58-36. Ian McLeod 59.24 and Phoebe Arbuckle 59.97 and I think Natalie Marshall on a 103 possibly Grace Noonan 1.0016 Grace might be in the borderline for getting into final This is the start now the, the last heat in lane 0 Katie Rose from Wander Baths and 1 Rosie Foster also Wander Baths and two, it's Orla McInnes, Heart of Midlothian. Three, Leila Weatherspoon, Heart of Midlothian. Four, Ariana Stokes from Morpeth. Five, is Ailey Robertson from South Outmaracia. Six, Canna Curtis from Wander Bath. Seven, Eve Wood from Orkney. Eight, is Molly Irvin Watson from Dumfries. And then nine, from East Lothian, it's Anna Lawson. Quickest qualifier is the Morpeth swimmer, Ariana Stokes. Lane yeah. four swimmer. Yeah, your Cadian. Uh, Eve Wood going well over in uh, lane 7, Matty. Yeah, let's see at the uh, halfway mark. Mariana Stokes, 28-1-3 at the turn. Ahead of Eve Wood and Leila Weatherspoon. 28-1-3, quickest time at the turn so far. Let's see if Ariana can keep this up. Certainly getting pushed. Leila Weatherspoon, Hart and Midlothian swimmer coming right back at her there and in fact she's just starting to overtake her now yeah, I think yeah, less that, than 10 to go yeah, yeah that swimmer's got this she, one if she's Leila got Weatherspoon it, she has and over in 7 uh, six, yeah, Eve Wood takes third yeah. 58 8, 8 for Leila it was a great second leg for her there those top 3 will certainly be in the final I would think Kiana Kurtza will also get there and uh, Ailey Robertson might be on the borderline in uh, fifth place. You've really got to go for it uh, in the heats to get into that final. They certainly do. Some good racing there, uh, Robert. Yeah, that one. excellent racing. But, uh, Moving on now you. to the next event. 200 metres. Male breaststroke. With eight heats. Just, just eight this. heats, not nine. <laughs> Probably timing's got something to do with it being uh, one of the slower type of events to swim. They can only cram eight heats rather than nine for these guys. So in... That's your knowledge kicking in there, Robert. 15 to 18, male and open, 200 breast. N zero, we have Murray Gallagher from Warner Bass Club. One, Duncan Curry from University of Aberdeen Performance. Two is Asher Jaffrey Mayer from Aberdeen. Teammate Lucas Snowden in three. Four, George Horskin, University of Aberdeen Performance. Five, Lewis Lodian from East Lodian Swim Team. Six, Ewan Nielsen from Camarnold. Seven, Craig Hartley, City Glasgow. Eight, Carrick Thompson, Inverclyde. And nine, Cala Forsyth from South Ayrshire. 249.30 to 254.30. Lewis, so, Lewis Lodian way out quick there. Yeah. Robert, 35.92, leads the field by a fair margin just now. Most See of these guys, uh, 15, so they've really got to go some to try and get anywhere near finals. But for uh, a lot of them, it's uh, just qualifying for Scottish National Age Groups is a big, big achievement. Massive so achievement, right. and, yes, it's a massive uh, even achievement. Even if this is your only swim in your lifetime, this is uh, the pinnacle for a lot of these uh, swimmers. 
Blue Slothian out very strongly indeed. And the East Lothian boy, 117.23. Let's see if he can sustain that because he, uh, he went out really quickly in that first 100. Second place at the moment, lane seven, Carrick Thompson. Minver Clyde swimmer. But Lewis Lothian certainly looking comfortable at the moment. Carrick Thompson, uh, well best of the rest at the moment. And trying to close. I think he is starting to close He's, it down. Uh, made a move. 2.016 for Lewis. Well, a second and a half ahead. But Carrick uh, took a second and a half out of that last 50, so can he do the same? Still got a lot to do, though. Yes, 30 metres to go. He's slowly but surely bringing that back, Robert. Giving everything over that far side. It's Carrick. Well, Lewis Lothian still looks good. Looks good for this, yeah. Fourth at the East Districts, uh, Lewis, and uh, finalist in the summer meet, and he's going to take this one. He'll be delighted with that swim. Absolute cracker. 244.22. Takes uh, five seconds. Five seconds. Five fully five seconds, seconds off a probably converted uh, short course time. He was so committed so, for the, from the, right for the start yeah. there, Robert. And to be fair, Carrick Thompson also takes a whacking six seconds plus off his time, uh, lad from Inverclyde. Good swims from both of them yeah, to get us get, underway. Let's hope we get more of that now. Moving on to Heat 2. Lane 0 is Archie French from Lincoln Vulcans. In lane one, Zoe Jamieson from South Ayrshire. Uh, sorry, Joe Jamieson from South Ayrshire. And two, it's Joe Crawford from Scotia. Three, Samuel Cool from Step Rock. Four, Clark Malkin Gill from Amber Clyde. Five, George Zebinevsky from Sunra. Six, Ewan Mitchell Hart of Midlothian. Seven, Kieran Brown from City Glasgow. Eight, Finlay Burn from First. And in nine, from Montrose, it's Caleb Simpson. So, having watched Lewis Lothian there now, Robert, let's see. If we can get similar in this one, the qualifying times ranging 247 through to 248.96. And just to remind you, Lewis Lowe then in the previous heat, finishing yeah. a 244.22. Samuel Cool okay. in a 36.23 at the turn. A wee bit slower, but uh, still within that range. Yeah. A couple of tens slower. Much tighter this one. There's. Uh, Almost four in a line here. Yeah. Three, four, five, and six. Uh, Samuel, Clark, George, and Ewan. Uh, Stranraer lad, uh, George Zimanyski, coming through very strongly uh, towards uh, the halfway mark. Yeah. He certainly looks as though he's going to take this up. Uh, George in the bright orange hat there, lane five. He's taking that turn in a 118.49. Still slower than the previous heat, but certainly... Uh, He's certainly making this his own now. Let's see if uh, Samuel can come back at him. Very little on it still. Uh, he took a, a good second and a half out of the other three boys uh, in that last 50. Mm -hmm. And he's got a nice camera shot. He's watching breaststroke. It's one arm pull to one leg kick. All about the timing. And he holds that lead still. Let's see where he does. 2-0-1-9-1. Uh, you see some of the swimmers uh, will come off the wall and do one butterfly kick, which they're allowed to do. Some of them don't. Some of them just do the breaststroke kick. But one butterfly kick is permissible. Two-handed touch and then off the wall as quickly as you can. And at the moment, uh, George is looking good. Yeah, he's not getting caught here. We've got a spot on out in lane seven, eh, lane eight there from Finlay Byrne from first. He's pushing to try and get that second spot. No doubt about the, the winner here, though. Clark Maitland-Gill, I think, is just hanging on for second. 
Yeah, he just gets that from uh, Finlay Brooks down over in lane eight. Another good steady swim there, almost the same uh, as the previous time, 2.44.79, just a fraction slower, nevertheless a nice wee PB for George. A lovely race here from Finlay yeah. Burn as well, he came uh, from nowhere really in the he outside did. lane there. Virtually matched his entry time, did Finlay. 2.48.36. Yep, so that's uh, that's all you can ask for, yeah, Matty. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very committed there, Finlay. On to Heat 3 now. Lane 0, Logan Warburton from Blackpool Aquatics. And 1, it's James Aberdeen from South Aberdeen. 2 is Finlay Geddes from Lerwick. 3 is Nakaram Trojna from Heart of Midlothian. And 4 is Jack Wallace from Orkney. 5 is Eklawa Singh from Scotia. Six Miller Cunningham from Glenrothes. Seven is Rory Keegan Ward from City Glasgow. Nine, uh, eight, sorry, Fergus Reed from Geary, and a nine his teammate and his go. Jack Wallace off very strongly. Not his swim up. Two forty-three ten. He's got uh, he and Glavia uh, Singh from Scotia. Uh, distinct. Green cap in lead five, they're both uh, same entry times, but Jack with the advantage 34 99. The second and a half wow. down on the previous heat in the first well, turn. Very strongly indeed, Matty. Yeah, and looking very strong. Look at them, Trojnar there. That swimmer trying to go on terms, but uh, on uh, this near side, James, James Aberdeen. Aberdeen. Yeah, he is uh, he's really pulled that back. He's, He's the outright leader now, so we're talking James Aberdeen ahead of Innes Gow, I think, out in lane nine. A good hundred there from James Warburton on 17.03, but James Aberdeen 116.29. Yeah, two boys on the near side, 40.96 and 41.71, significantly faster uh, than anybody else. And uh, at this moment, it looks as though the race is between the two. James Gow over on that far side, also really flying, as is Fergus Street. The two Geary lads, the two yellow cats yeah, on the far side. Are are it. So it's opposite sides of the pool, zero and one, nine and eight. And James Aberdeen coming up to the Geary, turn ahead, I think, of the Geary yeah, guys. The Geary boys uh, coming through strongly to try and get in the mix here. Two tenths ahead there, James Aberdeen, lane one. Logan Warburton second. Well, yeah. don't discount Fergus Street here. He's uh, got ahead of his teammate in his go. Still got work to do I think though. James Aberdeen's got this one. So far, anyway, let's see if the uh, if the nearest one can get near him. Logan Warburton, Fergus Reed, or in his go. Uh, James Gow's uh, decided, no, I'm not uh, going to give in here. Yeah, certainly. I think it's looking like in his go. It's in his go who's, uh, who's got this one. In his go from uh, James Aberdeen. Yeah. And uh, Fergus Reed. 243.91, 244.67. A 245.70. 42.29 for that last spot wow. for Ennis here. Great swim in there. Just waiting for that one to be confirmed. Don't know if there's been a soft touch or... Uh, Very impressive Certainly last uh, yeah. 50 there from uh, Innes Gow from Geary. Yeah. Yeah. So we've not heard uh, any infractions in that uh, event, but uh, maybe some soft touches. Which so we'll just wait to see what uh, is happening. Uh, the referees will sort this out very shortly. So, should be moving on to heat so four of eight. 
And that'll be followed by 50 breaststroke sprints for the females in event 105. Uh, still waiting on confirmation of that last heat there, yeah. heat three. Sometimes if they clear the board, then we know instantly that uh, there's possibly a disqualification. Uh, it might well be that there is uh, something that's happened. We'll wait, uh, there's there is indeed. Yeah. Uh, that's the that's, uh, reason for the slate of the day. Technical infraction in lane number seven. So uh, that results as we called it in this gout, James Aberdeen and Fergus Reid. Well done, lads. Yeah, very good race, that one. So on to the fourth heat in zero. Stephen Pate from Finns. One, Hayden Sterling, St Thomas. Two, Cameron Hastings, University of Aberdeen Performance. Three, Dylan McCombie, South Aberdeen. Four, it's Kyle Connolly, City Glasgow, 5, Aidan Williamson, Highland Swim Team, 6, Fraser Walker, Ren 96, 7, Ewan Gray, Step Rock, 8, Keir Stormont from Hartford Lothian, and 9, Atlantis Inkinoff from the Broch. Harry Keogh, you're the leader there, Robert. As you can imagine, there's very little in it between them all, but uh, I think the early reader there, White Hart, Ren 96. Are you going to turn first? Big apart. Keir Stormer, 35.2. Well, lane uh, two coming through to challenge Cameron Hastings. Uh, Keir Stormer still going very nicely over on that far side. Silver medalist uh, at. Uh, East Districts, that's where his entry time of 2.42.38 comes from. Dylan still ahead here. I called his name wrong, apologies for that early doors, Robert, but it is Dylan McCombie, South Aberdeen. And just coming up to the halfway mark now. Aidan Williamson. Cameron Hastings now in first, 1.16.61 for him. Nice turn in lane two, Cameron Hastings. Uh, maybe just shades it now. Very little yeah. in it. Six at, North, at this event last year. Yeah, it's good off That's the wall there for him, for Cameron. That's where his entry time comes from uh, over a year ago. 2.41. Oh, eight. Coming up to the final turn. Aidan well, Williamson at 57.95. Aidan Williamson uh, almost took a second out of uh, Cameron Hastings. But a better turn again from Cameron. <laughs> His turns are very good, but uh, we'll wait and see whether he can hang on. He's uh, just beginning to try and pull yeah. away here down the final stretch. I think he's got this one. Looks that way now. He's looking good down the final stretch. Yeah. Uh, Aidan Williamson, I think, is just going to have to settle for second place. And yeah. third place, uh, Kyle Connolly, perhaps. Yeah, it's going to be 2 that. 14 Aidan Williamson, 2.39.32. And Kyle Connolly from City Glasgow, 2.41.55. Does indeed get third. Well, it was a bit of uh, change out of, uh, from 100 to yeah. 150. From those two lads, but, uh, Cameron got the job done. Two thirty fourteen. Williamson Highland swim team. Two thirty nine three two. Kyle Conlon City Glasgow in third. Good improvement on in that entry time as well. On to heat five now. In lane zero from Sterling Swimming, it's Fraser van der Mullen. In lane one, Aidan McCavish from first. Two, it's Sam Ross from Warren de Bath. Three, Harry Keogh from Wren 96. Four, it's Lachlan Bremner, Highland Swim Team. Five, is Taylor Sinclair from Elgin. Six, Ben McLaughlin from Geary. Seven, is Luke McCall from Warren de Bath. Eight, is Adam Hill from Stirling Swimming. And in lane nine, his teammate Ben Montgomery. Quickest qualifier, three, 237.6. That's Lachie Bremner from Highland. Uh, Inverness based swimmer. Early doors, maybe just looking like Elgin's Taylor Sinclair, is it, Robert, just out in well, front? Maybe oh, it's a heady, lucky Bremner, but one. I think the turn was out in the, was lane one, was it, yeah? 
Ian McAuliffe's 34 60. Advantage at the moment. Certainly lucky, Graham, of the, as you see, the uh, fastest coming into this. He's got a wee bit of work to do. And Taylor Sinkler with a strong leg down in lane five now. Yeah, Taylor Sinkler now indeed coming through the Elgin Swimmer. Ian McCarvey still uh, there. Sam, Sam Ross, yeah. Sam Ross not out of it either. Yeah, the Wonder Swimmers uh, just come through sub 40. Taylor Sinkler also going sub 40 in that last. But, uh, Aidan McCavish sticking with them. Those, those three maybe just beginning to try and pull away pull here. But bit, yeah. uh, Sam looks the stronger the Wonder Swimmer in two, Matty. Yeah, that bright white and red heart there pulling away in lane two. You're looking to see. Taylor can pull that back, but certainly uh, Sam Ross looking comfortable, strong here at the moment. Coming up to last year's summer meet Sam, but uh, still has that slight advantage, but a quarter of a second in it, 156.67, 156.88. Aidan McCavish actually with the touch, but it didn't yeah. look that way. No, it certainly didn't. And we've got a fight on coming down here now though, Robert. Aid McCavish uh, certainly uh, doesn't want to give this one up. Sam Ross, Aid McCavish, and uh, Taylor Sinclair. It's a cracking race, Matty. Yeah, and don't discount Luke McCall, yeah. who's flying at the death. The Wander swimmer in lane seven might actually sneak this one at the yeah. death. I think it's looking like Aid McCavish. Well, Aid McCavish, I think he's just done enough. Aid McCavish yeah, has got this wall. one. Two Wander swimmers uh, well there. Taylor Sinkler just takes second ahead of Sam Ross. That's a cracking race, Matty. 237.82, Aid McCavish. Just hanging on. No, none of them were giving up there, Robert, no. that last leg. Now against Summer Taylor Sinkler, 238.84, 100th ahead of Sam Ross. Just hanging on for second. Aid McCavish from first, 237.82, taking that. Moving on to heat six, rolls eight. In lane zero from Amber Clyde, it's Luke Garrity. In lane one, James Bode from Geary. Two's Toby Bullock from Midlothian. Three, Gregor Ross from City, Glasgow. Four's Fraser Tetlow from Geary. Five, Fraser McIntosh from South Lanarkshire. Six is Dylan Mitchell from Warren de Bath. Seven is Calvin McDonald from the University of Aberdeen Performance. And eight, Mac Max Pelosi from City Glasgow, and in nine from South Ayrshire, it's Adam Thompson. Fraser Tetlow from Geary, fastest qualifier here, lane four swimmer, 2.25.86. The, the Scottish National Age Group champion uh, in lane six, uh, Dylan Mitchell from Warner Bass, off to a very strong start. Um, not quite there at the halfway mark, Fraser Tetlow and Gregor Ross. Just shading that, 33.50, Gregor Ross in second, 33.89. Yeah. Uh, Geary Swimmer's just uh, shading this one at the moment, Matty. Yeah, Fraser's looking good there. Another National Age Group champion, of course, diff two different ages, 17-18 uh, category, Fraser Tetlow, Dylan Mitchell in the 15-year-old category this year. It's starting to pull away a little bit here, Robert. He's just strengthen that lead a little bit now at no touch. 110.77. Gregor Ross uh, trying to stick with them. So the guys go swim up. Yeah, and he has. Side by side, these two. Yeah, it's another uh, swimmer who won uh, this event last year. He's uh, in the six-year-old category last year, 15-year-old champion. Uh, Dylan Mitchell last year's 14-year-old champion in lane six. But Fraser Tetlow going really nicely now. Let's see if Gregor's still there Gregor's as he come up to the wall. Fraser McIntosh uh, not out of it either. 149.66. All the play for here. Here's a Macintosh uh, sixth in this event last year. 
And he has starting to uh, uh, draw that right coming back. through very strongly, the uh, East Kilbride based uh, South Lanarkshire swimmer. And uh, he's flying. Fraser, Fraser McIntosh is uh, just going to be touched out, yeah. I fancy. Fraser Tetlow just doing enough, 238-34. Fraser McIntosh will want to go a wee bit faster and get past him. In the final, those two uh, certainly will be in the final in that older age category. Gregor Ross as well in the uh, 16 year old category. I think Fraser just saw Fraser McIntosh on his side there and just put the boot a wee bit down for Fraser Tetlow just to edge that one, but very close racing that. Aidan Bruce in lane zero from Aberdeen. One, Rudy Webster, Dumfries. Two, Kai Connolly, South Lanarkshire. Three, Jack Mitchell, University of Aberdeen Performance. Four, Conor Mitchell, won the Bass Club. In lane five, Royce Trugelis, City Glasgow. Six, Thomas Trainer, South Lanarkshire. Seven, Johnny Martin, Perth City. Eight, Callum Aitchison, University of Aberdeen Performance. And nine, Finlay Bennett from South Lanarkshire. Oh, Connor Mitchell in lane number four. Runner up in this last year. Thomas Trudin around lane six as well, Robert. They're pretty close, eh? It's uh, advantage with uh, Connor 32 33. It's the penultimate uh, heat. And you see uh, that long glide from uh, Conor Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, certainly a strength that uh, Warner put in with uh, breaststroke swimmers. Not letting them get too far ahead, Roy, is though. And coming up to the wall. 109.72. Half a second or so in it. Jack Mitchell not out of it either. They can try and find something down the final stretch. So a second quicker than the previous heat. So let's see if they can keep it up. It does look like yeah, Connor well, starting to stretch out yeah, that lead again. Yeah, Wonder well, Swimmer's looking good, isn't he? Royce trying to stick with him though. Third place at the moment. Maybe, maybe just, Jack just, Mitchell, yeah, maybe is just it? Jack Mitchell. But that's not a lot in it. There's Connor at the turn now in the 147.82. Second and a half down on the previous heat. Dumfries swimmer uh, Rudy Webster trying to get into the mix. Trying to ensure that he's uh, got a swim later this evening from lane one. Looks as though he's gone fourth just ahead of uh, Thomas Trainer. But the uh, one two pretty well cut and dried as it has been, yeah. and they'll be back uh, this evening to contest things in that final, along with uh, Fraser Tetlow. And, two twenty-five uh, seven two there for the finish yeah. for Connor and Fraser McIntosh. So two twenty-five Just half a second in it. Jack Mitchell and Rudy Webster all quite a bit further back, third and fourth. That's your final heat now. And in lane zero, it's Craig Shaw from South Lanarkshire, and one, it's Luke Jansen from Warren the Bath. Lane two is Ewan Weir from Perth City. Lane three, Fraser Dow, Perth City. Four, Stephen Kravis from East Lothian. Five, it's Finlay Davis from Mid Lothian. Six, David Smythe from Glenrothes. Seven, Lewis Gibson, South Ayrshire. Lane eight, it's Tyler Stewart from South Lanarkshire. And then lane nine from Stirling Swimming, it's Lachlan Small. Stefan Kravis, the outlight uh, quickest qualifier, and a 2.22 for Stefan. You'd wear going well, though, in uh, lane two, Matty. Perth, uh, You'd wear, yeah. And he's got a uh, oh, good body length advantage, oh, very strong six. indeed. Yeah. 
slower than uh, the last two heats, yeah. but out uh, strongly at the moment. So we'll wait and see if the other ones come back. But we know Finlay Davis, uh, Stephen Kravitz, uh, will come through strongly in the second half of the race. The two swimmers from uh, East District. Yeah, you can see the difference in stroke speed from uh, you and to Stephen Kravitz there. Far quicker. Far quicker stroke rate there. Finlay Davis coming through very strongly now to challenge. 112.64 plays 113. Uh, Stefan about a second further back in third. Three seconds down on the yeah, previous. Much slower, yep. but. Uh, Stefan Kravis and Finlay Davis now, though, they start to pull out. You kind of feel Ewan Weir's gone out to try and do the very best he can yeah. from lane two to try and get into the final just beginning to drop back yeah. Lewis Gibson from uh, South Ayrshire oh, in lane seven making a bit of a move going fifth but it's uh, Finlay and Stefan Finlay and Stefan towards the end of this now that's where we expected all the action to be Matty and yeah. that's where it is true to form and there's Stefan Kravis now starting to come through now and pull away from Finlay. Finlay's not giving it up though. Yeah. It's going to be tight, there's no question about it. I think Stefan's just edging it. I think he's Let's just going to get the touch it. Is. Yeah. Diamond could be all here. Yeah. Well, look at that. Yeah. Did Pip Stefan at the end, as you say, looking for the final. Much, much slower time though, 2.30.13. Yeah, some five seconds. 2.30.31. They'll certainly be in the final, they won't be in the middle lanes. Well, that's the issue. But they've got a lane, that's the main yeah, thing. In. So no, we, uh, we will see them later on. That could be a cracker this evening. Certainly. So that concludes uh, our 200 uh, events. We move to 50s. So it's the other end of the pool they start and they'll finish down the, at this the bottom end. So you might have... Breath rope. We'll get a wee bit of a breath. Yeah. We'll get a wee bit of a breath. Yeah. So it'll be nine heats of each. So... That's us in place off, now. They're off pretty quickly. So the ten taking part Helen White, Manon Chambry, Cara White, Jonah Calder, Kaylin Chan, Emma Brinney, Madison Stewart, Josie Grimes, Hannah Lindsay. This, the female 50 to 18, 50 metres of breaststroke. And it might just be lane seven. Yeah, Josie Jus Grimes. Josie Grimes out very sharp yeah. off the blocks. So I wonder someone maybe just going to take this one. Well, she's given herself as good a chance yeah. as any. She's got yeah. a better. Emma Binney Half maybe a second. Ahead here. Emma Binney coming through strongly. I think she's going to have to settle for second. Yeah. Third place. I think Josie's got it. Looks to be uh, lane three. Jonah Calder. Josie Grimes 36.55. Emma Binney 36.84 and 38.37. Jonah Calder. That was a fairly easy one to call. First one out, but uh, it'll get harder. Because we've got more swimmers in uh, yeah. right off the blocks. So that was Josie's. Here we go on to uh, heat two. The swimmers are Anna Perry, Molly Irvin Watson, Sarah Sam. Denson, Anna Lawson, Eva Ross, Eve Wood, Kimberly Willis, Neve Quinn, Caitlin Ucker, and Ellen McPhee. Fastest qualifier and I see Ross and Eve Wood in a 37.3. So 36.55 was Josie Grimes' time in the uh, previous heat. And your front runners, four and five. Eve Wood going well now, Matty. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think yes. she's got this one. She's got Looks it, that way. she's pulling away. Eva Ross probably second from uh, Kimberly Willis. So Eve Ross from Orkney going to come through to take that. See her time in there. 
There's confirmation Eve Wood first, they were all second, Kimberley Willis third. Good solid swim from Eve Wood, and this is uh, the third of the unseeded heats. So, let's see how this one goes. Katie Gillis, Ailey McNichol, Rebecca Shand, Lola Mitchell, Anastasia Enoch, Eva Kirkham, Eden Fraser, Melia Leslie, Millie Barton, and Victoria Weir. 37 through to 37 30. Lola Mitchell, Anastasia Enoch, and Eva Kirkham all in 37 dead for the qualifying times. Yeah. Early lead at Robert, is it mean five, is it? Yeah, Eva, Eva Kirkham, Kirkham from first. first. Over the far side, Victoria Weir going very strongly indeed in the is. final stretch. So the two first swimmers, Eva Kirk and Victoria Weir, look as though they have it. Unless uh, lane one, Katie Gillis is flying at the death. Zero. Lane zero, rather. I think she's got it. Katie Gillis in zero, 36.91 from Eva Kirkham. I meant to say lane zero. I think I it's what happens when you have a 10 lane pool. <laughs> <laughs> so lane nearest this is zero. Katie Gillis, well done to her from Renfrew Baths. 36.91. Heat previous to that, 35.22. Moving on now to heat four. They come thick and fast when they're 50s. Swimmers here are Maya McCallum, Tia Aitken, Katie Lowe, Taylor Smith, Millie Colvin, Ella Cunningham, Izzy Monarch, Jesse Norris, Ella Wood, and Lucy McLeod. Nice to see swimmers from Forfar also competing at this event. Some of our smaller clubs, uh, good round uh, section of yeah. clubs competing here, and uh, fairly level start in this one, Matty. Yeah. It's uh, an early call, would be uh, lane Jesse, four, I think. Jesse Morris in seven. Millie Colvin, Jesse Moore, Jesse is it, Norris. Izzy Monarch in six, Izzy Monarch and uh, Jesse. Yeah. Oh, it's anybody's in this one. I think Izzy Monarch just pulling this forward now. Murphy Swimmer, lane yeah. six. Red Hart there. Jesse Norris and maybe in lane four. Five, Ella Cunningham rather, lane five it was. In third place, Izzy Monarch, 35 32. Nice swim there. Almost the fastest we've seen. Jesse Norris, 35 89. 36, I think, 01. Like Cunningham. Yeah, All faster than empty times. Swim from Izzy there, still a tenth of a second slower than Eve Wood. So Eve Wood's now got a chance of getting into a final. Mm -hmm. Natalie Cooper, Ellie MacArthur, Gary Pritchard, Ellie Armstrong, Georgina Hawkins, Beth Creek, Luna Webera, Geta Schmashka. Elizabeth Morgan and Kirsty Breakin. Lane 8, maybe. Elizabeth, yeah, Morgan, Elizabeth Morgan, perhaps. Just shading Island it. Island swimmer. Oak Harbour based. Fort William. He's the early leader. Greta Shemiska, also well there. Yeah. And coming through in uh, 5, Beth Creek, Leona Bedborough in 6. Lane 0, Natalie Cooper flying at the end. He's going to get this. Well, Sorry, we couldn't really call that the no, way the no. camera angle was. It was Greta who took that. 36 27. Oh, Greta. Yona Bedborough, 36 39. Elizabeth Morgan, 36 44. So that might not be good for any of them getting into finals, but. Uh, Eve Wood still got the uh, yep. quickest qualifying time now. And this is Heat 6. And we have Eva Robertson. Alyssa Goodbrand, Maya Cheshire, Charlotte Thompson, Amy McLeod, Ellie Kennedy, Ella McGeorge, Ailey Stewart, Ailey McNair, and Sarah, sorry, Sarah Wood. Fastest qualifier, Amy McLeod, 33.22. City Glasgow swimmer here. Still aiming for quickest time so far from Eve Wood, 35.22. That's your... Uh, Lanes four and five, I think, just edging it. Amy McLeod, Ellie Kennedy, Ellie Maya Cheshire. I think Amy McLeod just edging this one, Robert. 
Looks that way. Five metres. Yeah. Let's see the touch. Playing four, six, oh, and five, I think. Thirty-four, two, three. Ellie McGeorge, 34.70. Ellie Kennedy, 34.73. Lanes 4, 6 and 5. What was the finish order? It was pretty tight, Matty, yeah, again. Very close to call. Maybe done the hard work initially, so good race for her. Moving on now to Heat 7. And the swimmers are Grace Noonan, Alice Cumming, Jessica Kirkwood, Amy Owenson, Ailey Robertson, Perry Scobie, My Rogers, Isla Gil Murray. Leah Bullock and Abby Mitchell. Yeah. First Perry Scobie challenging Ailey Robertson after that good swim she had earlier on. Yeah. South Yorkshire swimmer, the fastest uh, qualifier, but Perry Scobie off very strongly indeed. The white cap is Sterling swimming. And Perry Scobie at the moment dominating this. Uh, Ailey Robertson yeah. trying to get back on terms. Third place might be Amy Overson. Also, well, there is my Rogers, but Perry Scobie's got this one, I fancy. Yeah, she's got this in the bag. Yeah. Slowly, just stretching out still, Robert. Perry Scobie, Ailey Robertson, and my Roger. That is the one, two, three. And a very nice swim from Perry. 33-53. Just inside her entry time. So that is the fastest time we've seen so far. Just getting ready to move on to the, the final heat. The swimmers in this one, the last heat will be Lauren Anderson, Katie Towers, Emily Jackson, Zara Smith, Imogen Miles, Saren Talentine, Tyre, uh, Katie Coventry, Alana Wilson, Bronwyn Payne and Iona Cassipiris. That was two fastest in here are non Scots. Yeah, Seven Oaks. Which based uh, Imogen Miles from Seven Oaks in Kent and Seven Tarantown. The Welsh swimmer who's uh, back up from Morpeth. And they're going side by side in four and five. Yeah. Could be a good one. <laughs> so we'll see how uh, Sarah Smith and Katie Coventry, either side of them in lanes three and six. Uh, Compete. Good start from uh, Zara Smith in yeah. uh, lane three. The Warner swimmers are giving everything here. I think Zara was quickest off the she block, so she's given yeah. herself a good shot at this one. Yeah, 0.66 reaction time. She was uh, pretty fast out the blocks. She's still got it. Yeah, I think she's maybe just going to shade this one. Imogen Miles. Oh. Imogen Miles has got it though. Yeah, I think Imogen Imogen Miles just at the last wee bit. Well, it's on a touch, a dead heat. 33 wow. Sarah Talentine takes third, 34.55. And not the fastest time in Southern to late. Yeah, no. Perry Scobie, slightly Perry quicker. Perry just a wee bit faster. So, uh, of course, Imogen Miles only 15. Sarah Talentine 16. And uh, Perry Scobie 17, 17 in the 17-18 category. So... Yes, we've just got to take it into account different yeah, ages. That's so right, yeah, that's right. Yeah, all good. We're going on to more sprints now, Robert. This is uh, event 108, and it's the oh, it's fly. Makes it a wee bit harder to call, call with a butterfly. Yeah. Seven heats, uh, sorry, nine heats. Uh, nine heats, yeah. Dexter Suter, Ruru Buchan, Ryan McLaughlin, Adam Merrick. Nathan Smith, Hamish Maxwell, Elliot Stephen, Max Miller, Callum Struzik, Matthew Kennedy, 30-22-30-65. Uh, these guys are probably going to do a 28 to give them half a chance to get in the final, but breaking 30 will be what they're all looking for. Yeah, they're all 30 qualifiers, so yeah, any money would be a bonus for them, so off we go. See any early starters? Max Miller quick off the blocks here. As you can imagine, a 50 sprint like this, it's very hard to call. Nathan Smith maybe and uh, Elliot Stephen, six, four and six. I think Nathan Smith, not the yeah. swimmer. Nathan Smith, Adam Just Merrick ahead. and uh, Elliot Stephen maybe. We'll settle for that. Nathan and Smith, Hamish Maxwell, Elliot Stephen, 
29.84, all these three lads will be chuffed a bit. Oh, they will be delighted with the sub-30s here. Nathan Smith, your winner there. So, second heat. Rogi Kieran Ward, Edward Mills. Anatole Geises. Hope I've got that right. I think you are, Anatole Geises, I believe. Yep. Daniel Henry, Jasper Harrison, Aaron Russell, Kel Connolly, Aaron Drake, Bruce Hopkins, and Harris Woodward. 29 43 to 30 13. Just uh, have a wee bit background noise. Just wait uh, for our officials just to get them settled again. And then we'll be off. You've been doing this a lot longer than me, Robert Portobello. Do they compete much? I'm the, the, the 70 years ago were the top club in the East District, would you believe, Portobello. All right, OK. They're a wee club now. But uh, yes, they, they still compete. Um, they uh, Actually, they're one of their East District swimmers, or their club swimmers, was the open water female champion. Oh, no less. Grace Campbell. Not got far to get open water from Portobello then. No, yeah, just a wee dip, dip <laughs> in the ocean. Here we go after that slight pause. Nice place to pop down to if, if you want. I'll be wandering around the, the beach, get an ice cream, and then, uh, yeah. Edinburgh Riviera. Your burgers at the end. Nice day out. So off. Totally, guys, he's fastest off the box, 0 6 yeah. 1. So. See if he's giving him a shot. Uh, he's got, got every chance here. He certainly has. Kel Connolly going well in six. Might just be Kyle over in six with the advantage, Matty. Yeah, I think just ahead of lane two. So that's uh, Anatoly Geises. Let's see lane, the wall. Lane four's got this, though. Jasper, Jasper Harris, Harrison, 29, 29 dead. dead. Great time. You'll be delighted yeah. with that one. Yeah. It's only 29.03 for a throw So our 30, Kyle Mossman, Finlay Hiddleston, Carl McKenzie, Guy Fern, Daniel Boyne, Samuel Cool, Connor Swinney, Alfie Price, Tyler Spaulding, and Lewis Aitchison. 28.96 through to 29.40. Well, 29 dead. We're looking for a sub-29 in this one, Matty. Yeah, and two starting times, qualifying times, he's saying 28.96 for Daniel and Samuel. Oh, great start from Alfie Price in, fa in seven. That's a, is a fantastic start, and he's, oh. he's given himself a fantastic lead already. Bear in mind, it's only a 50 sprint. Can we see a 27 here? He is flying. We well, might even get a 26. What a swim, 26 wow, 58. I think he'll be back this evening with that. And I think he'll be happy. What a cracking swim from Alfie. 29.2 qualifying time, 26.58. And he's only 15. 15 year old. Very impressive. Ready to start heat four now. Swimmers are Lewis Lothian, Jed Armitage, Luke Livingston, Lackey Bremner. Nathan Collins, Lewis Maxwell Powells, Matthew Pytick, Fraser Kerry, Daniel Hay, and Connor Aspinall. Well, the glove firmly went down in the last one then. 26 5 8 for Alfie. Let's see where this leads us. Ethan Collins, Ethan, yeah, the Bell lad yeah. uh, off very strong. This uh, is certainly his event. Ethan Collins uh, from Bell Sharks. Yeah, I think getting better over the shorter distances, the 50s and the Lucky Bremner the in lane three is coming back and he's looking strong, possibly for second, is he? Oh, it's a great touch. Yeah, he did. So Ethan Collins, 27 65. 28.18 for Lucky Bremner. He'll be delighted with that. Luke Levison, 28.43. Well, I fancy that uh, that'll be good enough for the 15-year-old Ethan Collins getting into a final in 
some of the middle lanes. I would think. I would think so. Comfortably there. I would think so there. Half. Declan Key, Anna Prusik, Dean Bergatti, Manu Drysdale, Henry Sullivan Barnes, Josh Stephen, Connor Christophers, Tom Jeffers, uh, Atten Tans Irkinoff, and Alex Taylor. Might just be uh, Connor in lane six with a slight advantage. Of yeah, not a lot in it though. I think Connor has so far got that lead. Tom Jeffers uh, from Ray 96 motoring at the death. Tom Jeffers. Tom Jeffers, I think. Maybe he's just going to get really this strong. one. Lorraine Swimmer's got this by a wee bit from lane mm -hmm. four, three, and two. Yeah, good. Anna Drysdale, 27.82, 27.89. Third place, Dean Bergatti, but 27.33. Tom Jeffers takes that. Good swim from the rain, lad. Heat six. Adam McLaren, Jack Mitchell, Magnus Bullock, Tom Massey, Max Pelosi, Dylan Mitchell, Taylor Hutton, Jonah Turnbull, Rory Stobie and Cameron Gill. So all these swimmers qualifying at 27 from 5-1 up to 6-6. 27-3-3 was Tom Jeffers in the previous one. And in lane 8, Rory Stobie, Warren the bar swimmer, looking good so far. He's got a, he has got a clear lead, less than 5 to go. Is he keeping that to the death? Rory Stoby, 27-1-4. Very good start yes. for Rory there. Yeah, he'll be happy with yeah. that. Yeah, half a second, roughly faster than his entry time. That gives him a, maybe an outside chance of getting into final. Alfie Price still with the quickest time so far, a 26.58 yeah. from Heat 3, the Orkney swimmer. Nobody else in a 26 yet, so we have Ishmael Shalabi, Fergus Woodward, Benji Jeffries, Jensen Norris, Finlay Nelson, Zach Slater, Harry Sharp, Ben Kelly, Torin Leathersedge and Logan Jackson. Finlay Nelson, 25.82 qualifying time. See if he can match up with uh, Alfie Price's earlier time. Finlay Nelson, early leader, but uh, coming through strongly to challenge Zach Slater. Finlay Nelson. So Finlay just got this one from Zach, and maybe in seven. Ben Kelly taking third, 26.55. Finlay Nelson, 25.84. Finlay was the quickest qualifier, but just slightly outside his qualifying time, yeah. 200 to a second. 26.19, Zach Slater just inside his time. So our penultimate heat, Kenzie McLean, Archie Smith, Edward Bell, Rowan Brown, Kieran Lennox, Callum Hastings, James Kilpatrick, Callum Struzik, sorry, Callum Sinclair, rather, Magnus Morris and Ewan Watson. So penultimate heat. And very strongly away is uh, Kieran Lennox. Yeah. This is pretty well wrapped up. It's wrapped up already, Robert. Yeah, Kieran, right for the start. Cameron Hastings will get second, third place. Very tight. Lane seven, I think. Callum Sinclair taking third. Twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. Kieran had that from the yeah. from the start there. Very comfortable. As we go into the that. final heat now. We've got Liam Gorzinski, Ross Anderton, Alex Black, Logan Vandermullen, Dean Fern, Adam Scott, Suder Gullen, David Smith, Scott Fleming, and Lewis Austin. Well, Liam Gorzinski, people from Monifif will be delighted you've got that pronunciation spot on. Well, there you go, that was a guess. Yeah, you get 10, <laughs> out, for 10 out of 10, is it? Yeah, more than 10 out of 10, well done. Let's see, uh, fastest qualifier here is uh, Dean Fern, Aberdeen Dolphin swimmer, and he's already out in front uh, by a considerable bit. No surprises there for Dean. 
24.1 was his qualifying time. See what he does this. Makes it look casual, well, Robert, doesn't he? He actually looks like he's going for it. Wow. 24-1-2. That was almost, Just almost literally got a his Scottish time. record. Outstanding. Wow. Two one hundred thirty six four ten is a Scottish yeah. junior record. Incredible swimmer. And he looked as though he was going for it. So we've uh, got to swim off. Swim off here in a hundred backstroke. Two swimmers, Kyle Mitchell from Geary up against Ethan Stewart from South Lanarkshire. Both, uh, both uh, had a finishing time in 102-14. 100 metre back throw. He's putting in the ledges now. It's good to see these when they're, yeah. you know, when they're side by side. They can see each other and Hopefully push each other on. 102-14 was their earlier time. So 100 metres back. Not sure if this is for uh, a place in the final or it's uh, reserve. Yeah. Just waiting for confirmation of that for you, Robert. Off they go. And uh, uh, you can see there with the difference in the underwater work. Kyle Mitchell from Geary with a bright yellow heart there. And Ethan Stewart wearing the blue heart. But uh, the underwater work initially off the blocks there, off the start for Kyle has given him a metres lead at least. But it's starting to claw back now, is it? Uh, coming up to the turn now. 29.14 as opposed to 29.64. Again, the underwater work can be all important here. And this is them for a place in the final. So they've all to play for. And it is closing. Kyle with the lead, but Ethan's definitely not knocking on the head yet. So let's see as we come down with 10 metres to go. He has led for the start. He's certainly got the, rate, the, name, the game in his hands at the moment. He is going to take it. Finishing time. 101.17. And a 101.42 for Ethan. Both quicker than the, uh, the original heat. But uh, Kyle gets his place in the final. Good wee swim that for us. Uh, a cracking swim. But it, it, all, it almost always happens that they swim faster in a swim off. Pressure's on yeah, them, isn't it? Pressure on, yeah. Adrenaline's pumping. Yeah. We're we moving on to event 107 now. This is, this is where it kind of one of the long ones. It slows down a wee bit. We we catch our breath for a, a change. We're watching <coughs> the uh, as the swimmers get themselves ready in the blocks. Yeah, uh, Stewart's at either end, at the end, getting the count boards out, the markers down. Fifteen hundred meters. Fifteen hundred meters. Yes. Uh, a mere 30 lengths of the pool ahead of us. And uh, it's great to, to see three heats of this, Matty. Yeah, that's a great number. Uh, yeah. A few years back, we were struggling to get uh, even two heats of this uh, because we started off when we got back into the water with 50s and 100s and uh, mm -hmm. the distance events were certainly something that uh, we were struggling for pool time to incorporate. But uh, it's nice to see getting uh, the swimmers embracing this a bit more absolutely even trying to encourage some swimmers to do an 800 can have its issues but uh, anyway here we go so we have three heats in this event as we said already 1500 meters so it's a long slog for these swimmers and lane zero and heat one from Lerwick is Kayla Johnson and lane so that lane zero and lane one from Westlow, then it's Molly Weir. In twos, Josie Grimes from Warrender Bath. Three is Olivia Caldwell, City Glasgow. Four is Katie Smart from Perth City. Five, Lucy Hall from East Lothian. Six is Gina Wren, City Glasgow. 
7 Ava Ross City Glasgow 8 is Kayleigh Moulton from Wren 96 and then lane 9 from Kilmarnock Susanna Curran I'm just giving you an early indication here these swimmers are all between 1859 and 1933 uh, they're qualifying times so 2 sub 19 swimmers and Katie Smart and Lucy Hall they're both in the middle lanes and early doors at the first 100 it's Lucy Hall 106.96 yeah. important they don't go out too fast in this they go out in a nice steady pace uh, and each of these swimmers are really swimming their own race, Matty. It's, uh, uh, yeah. it's don't uh, worry about who's uh, in the lead or who's second. No, this uh, is all about their pacing here, Robert. Yeah, they'll know, hopefully, uh, early doors when they get into their groove, they'll know their pacing yeah. and they'll know what they're looking for. So uh, they're not worried about what's happening either side of them at this stage. So we didn't really get uh, much chance to uh, discuss what happens uh, during Scottish Nationals. Uh, the qualifiers uh, from all the heats go into the finals uh, for this evening. Uh, in each age group, uh, teams are awarded points based on positions. So if you finish first, you get 13 points for your team, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 11 points for second, uh, 9 for third, then 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, right down to 1 point for finishing 10th. Each swimmer um, might in two or three finals but it's your best result yep. that qualifies for your team and those points are then accumulated and over the five days we end up with um, a top club and uh, we all always announce the, the top ten um, last year the uh, winners were uh, the team from City of Glasgow our top ten this year or our top ten last year City of Glasgow won their baths East Lothian Swim Team, University of Aberdeen Performance, Aberdeen Dolphins, Perth City, Dumfries, Geary, Stirling Swimming and South Lanarkshire. Those were the ten teams. Um, Prediction-wise, dare I say, City Glasgow will be the top team again this year. That's where I think it will sit. And I suspect Warner Bass will be, will be yeah. a bit further back in second. Um, Aberdeen Dolphins, East Lothian and University of Aberdeen Performance in uh, sort of third, fourth, fifth position, somewhere around there. I still expect Per City and Geary to be there along with Stirling Swimming and South Lanarkshire. Uh, Dumfries might be the ones that, uh, in my view, are hanging on for 10th. Uh, the other teams that might uh, challenge for that Look for Ren 96. Okay. Potentially from Fife Glen Rothis. Um, not sure about. Uh, I'm writing all these down, so I'm going to yeah. uh, check this at the end of the. Uh, there's week. been a, a few moves recently in uh, West Lothian area, so maybe Swim West Lothian might uh, get in that mix. And uh, hard to know um, if one of the other bigger clubs in Fife Carnegie will be there, but I kind of think that Ren 96. Could be challenging Dumfries for a potential 10th spot with uh, Dark Horses, Glen Rothis, and uh, maybe Swim West Lothian. You've been doing your studying then, have you? Or is this that's, just that's, that's my prediction. Based on experience. Yeah. Based on experience. Just looking down at the pool here just now. Um, obviously, it's very early doors, but uh, Lucy Hall went off uh, really quickly initially. And now you can see Olivia Caldwell from City Glasgow. Has just uh, edged ahead. 4.53.3 for Hart. That's Olivia Caldwell from City Glasgow. Blue capped swimmer. And you have the East Lothian swimmer, Lucy Hall, in lane five. As I said early on, uh, not, don't worry about what happens in the first no. couple of hundred metres. Uh, if somebody yep. goes out fast, just swim your own race. And that's uh, what Olivia's done. She's not panicked, just They'll got herself the into her to them. Stick to the plan. Yeah, it's very much a marathon, this one, isn't it? 
So Olivia Caldwell, 38-16. Just pulling about a second out here, Matty. Mm, yeah. That'll be her inner groove now, though, Robert. I'm guessing at 450 metres now. Yeah, so you're, you're probably looking at 76s or thereabouts for each 100. Yeah. So we'd be expecting her to turn at somewhere around about 6.9 or thereabouts at the uh, 500 mark. 15-year-old Olivia, 19 minutes and 19.00.30 qualifying time. That's firstly um, bang on the money, 76.1 of a split. So having gone 500 and 610, or virtually 610, multiply that by three, and then add a wee bit on, a wee bit, yeah, and you'll not be yeah, mills yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, so we're, yeah. we're looking at somewhere around about sub 1840 yeah. potentially as a finish time for our leader. That is. Well, I'm sure if she does that, she'd be delighted. Yeah. 20 seconds down her qualifying time. Just looking further down the field, 15-year-olds, uh, there is uh, one, uh, sorry, two 15-year-olds that go in the very last heat. Yeah, Evie Markey and Kate Nolan, yeah. And we have uh, three 16-year-olds in the last heat. So, we're not uh, looking at uh, medalists in this, but certainly for the 15-year-olds, the you want to try and win the heat or finish second because uh, yeah. if that gets you in the top 10 in that age group, then you're scoring points potentially for, for your, your team. team. Yeah. So it's very important, um, even the, the lower heats, to swim everything and uh, try and get either into a final to give your team points for uh, qualifying for the top 10. That's great. The swimmers know that with their team as well. You know, about to keep them going, like you know, part of, being part of the team. You know, we're always swimming so they're swimming solo, apart from the relays. But to, to actually have that thought in your head that you're actually yeah. swimming for your club as well, you know, it's and that's why in the swim off, uh, you know, Ethan would have been wanted to win that one, but uh, Kyle Mitchell got, got in, yeah. so he'll he'll be guaranteed if he has no further swims. Points that's for a his, point for Geary. Yeah. So. Olivia still ahead of Lucy. So we can actually see on our screen here um, scoreboard as uh, reds and greens. And uh, we know if it's a, a green time that pops up, that swimmer swam the last 50 a wee bit faster than the previous 50. Olivia Caldwell, 38-19, so 8.41-93. She's swimming well, within your predictions there. So it's a little bit over the 76 mark, so still very steady. This is the halfway point. So we usually take the halfway point and... Uh, Double it and add probably add about five, five or six seconds and we'll not be a million miles out. And she is. Olivia Colwell turning. 9.19.54. Yeah, so she could be under that, um, that 19. She could be sub 18. Sub 19, sorry. 18 something, Robert. She keeps it up. And that's all you want to see from... Uh, some of the, the younger swimmers, I know they're... Yeah, but like you say, there's... 15, 16, you know, you're, they're a wee bit older than uh, the, the ones that we'll be doing it this afternoon. Yeah. But at that age, they never got the chance to do yeah. it at 12 and 13. So, you know, they're, they're still still learning this in real terms. Because it's only the last couple of years they've maybe had a chance to do this this distance event. And the fact is, we spoke about it earlier, there, you know, there's there's 30 swimmers in this, uh, in this event at this age group. Yeah. Three heats of ten, four reserve swimmers. Still Olivia out in front here and Lucy in second. Eva Ross uh, in third place. I think this is about her third swim this morning. And 
I think she's a breast stroke, maybe a back stroke, a good mixture. Again, over there, 38 13 for that split. See now we Olivia coming down. So our last split was very slightly slightly down. So looking at 11 13 for this next one. Very much, very much on the money. So the, ne the next split, Matty, should be virtually around about the 12 and a half minute mark. Mm -hmm. So Lucy Hall second. The gap between Lucy and um, Ava Ross. Yeah, that, it, Ava, that's starting to, start, start, start to narrow a little bit now. Completed 800 metres onwards. And he's City Glasgow swimmer there. Starting to pull that back, that wee lead back. Olivia swam this last year, Matty. She was third at uh, both the summer meet and uh, at national age groups and uh, runner up at West Districts. So she'll, she knows her race here then, Robert. She'll yeah. know her pacing. And you can see that gap now from second to third between Lucy and Ava yeah. is definitely starting to... To narrow more and more. Well, Eva swam that last 50, 38, 45, Lucy 38, 73. So mm -hmm. she's clawing back maybe a little bit. A third of a second. So if she can continue by the time we get maybe down to 1200, it should be pretty close. Side by side. So 1230.2 now for Olivia Caldwell. And it's pretty steady, Matt. It's just a little bit over 76 second. Uh, Per hundred. Yeah, thousand metres in, Robert. So, probably looking at finish not a million miles off uh, the 1850 mark. Well, I'm pretty sure they would all be delighted if you gave them that at the start. Thirty-seven, nine, seven. Lucy Hall, thirty-eight, ninety-seven. Ross, thirty-eight, fifty-eight. So she's clawed back yeah. almost another Again, half second. Yeah. So as you say, Matty, that second uh, and third place, very much up for grabs. Just at the top of your camera there. There's not much in it. it. Yeah, you can see it's closing now. Katie Smart uh, in fourth place. She's a long way back on Eva Ross over uh, 12 seconds. Good pacing from Olivia here. She's uh, she's she knows her uh, she knows her strategy here. There's no doubt about that. Her pacing's very much in top. And you can see that gap now from. Yeah. This is the key bit. She, she wants it. to just keep this going the next couple of hundred meters, not let the pace drop. Uh, Olivia. And then uh, from the 12, 1200, 1250 mark, yeah. just try and build again. Build it up a little bit, yep. Yeah. There's a nice camera shot of our leader. And looking comfortable. Seems to be able to swim faster uphill, 37.74, <laughs> and slower <Yeah>. downhill. 37.74, <laughs> was it, yeah. And she's up to a little bit there, you're right. And you can see now for his second spot in the heat, Ava Ross is now overtaking Lucy Hall for that second spot. Let's see if uh, Olivia was quicker than that one. 38.29 for that split. 15.0265. And Ava Ross, 38.01 as, as against the 39.52 for Lucy. And a 38.34 for Ava as against the 39.38. So another second. Uh, so Ava Ross just beginning to uh, pull away from yeah. Lucy Hall. Ava fourth at the summer meet last year. 
you see Hall uh, the East District runner up and fourth at national age groups in this so all three girls uh, getting into the spirit of doing these distance events yeah it's a real toughie isn't it Another 37.84. Olivia is pretty cons consistent around the 37.8s going up the way. Yeah, she's in her groove, Robert. No question about that. Coming up to tick off another 100 metres. And if anything, 16. she's beginning to wind it up now. Mm -hmm. She's at that stage yet now, yeah. 37.67 there. That's uh, sub 76, so she's cranking it up. Ava Ross, uh, 38.60, as against uh, 39.16. Yeah. So she's gone about three and a half seconds clear. Uh, and it looks as though she's probably nailed second place uh, yeah. as uh, Ava Ross. So, see the Glasgow 1-2. That's a good shot of Olivia there. See, 37.99. 3.10 slower than the last one. Let's see if your uphold downhill theory is yeah. right here then, shall yeah. we? Well, we're looking for a, a 30, 38 and a bit. But she certainly does look like she's up in the pace a wee bit. So we're looking at uh, 1734 split here. She hits the bell. Well, she's uh, picked the pace up. 17, certainly. That's, that's what you'd, you'd certainly expect. So, looking for a finish time, hopefully round about 18.45, Depends what's in the tank. And uh, she needs to get the legs going yeah. pretty strongly. The legs have not really got right, uh, right going yet. Splashing starting now from the yeah, legs. Let's yeah. see if she picks it up for this final sprint down. She hits the wall for the final time. Uh, 36, 9, 8. Robert, quicker yeah. again. Yeah, so I'm looking for an 18.45. Legs just beginning to get going a wee bit, but uh, it's more arm pull. Yeah. And the legs beginning to just kick in. It's a different leg kick all together yeah. in these distances to Benzo, isn't it? And coming up to watch her. Once she uh, initially overtook Lucy, that's it. She's been uh, out 18, in front. Yeah. 18, 46, 19. Finishing a 35, 43. Ava Ross. Coming through to finish in second. And there's Lucy coming in now to take third as well. Just behind Ava. So the Glasgow 1 2 and New Slothian 3. Ava Ross improving her time by around five seconds. Lucy Hall just uh, a little bit over the 19 minute mark, just outside her entry time. But a nice uh, improvement for Olivia taking. Best part of uh, 14 seconds or so off her entry time. Nice to see the board all turning green yeah. after their, their uh, 1500, keeping a little bit back for that final sprint. So 118, sorry, 1846, 19 for Olivia there. I can't recall, Matty, uh, at the beginning if Molly Weir in lane one actually started, maybe uh, part of the way through, dropped out. Of course, I have to say, I never saw that one, Robert. Finishing pretty much neck and neck. Yeah, that was the case. Molly, we were yeah. obviously uh, maybe a wee bit distressed at some point in the race and decided, uh, no, I'm not feeling well and has pulled out. So, as you can see. And she may well have other yeah. races on as well through yeah. the week. If you're on the right frame of mind for a 1500, yeah. eh? So our second heat. 
in this one. We have Louise Connell from City Glasgow in zero. One is Lucy Hunter, South Lanarkshire. Two, Kirsten Mackay from Finns. Three, Alice Cummings, City Glasgow. Four, Alex Coy, Wander Bass Club. Five is Lucy Atherton from Hart of Midlothian. Six, Alia Cochrane from City Glasgow. Seven, Ella Pullman, Glenrothes. Eight, Ella Cham Chambers from Ithin. And nine, Lexi Lament from Aberdeen. 1828-30 to 1858-52. So again, for a lot of these swimmers, uh, some of these uh, will be short course conversions. We have uh, total of eight of those times finishing in a zero, which are probably short course uh, uh, to likely, long course. Yeah, yeah. Um, so see how this one develops. We have uh, two 15 year olds in this one. Lucy so Hunter. Lucy Hunter in one, Lexi Lamont in nine. So as long as they swim faster than uh, 1846, at least one of them will be guaranteed a bronze yep. medal with uh, two 15-year-olds. Th sorry, three sorry, there's actually three 15-year-olds uh, in the last heat. So they want to swim as fast as they can to give them a chance of a, a medal. Three 16-year-olds in the final heat and uh, four 17-year-olds. So we'll take a note of the fastest time for the uh, swimmers that are in all these three different age groups in this heat because it might have an effect on medals. 36.25 for a split there for Lucy. Quite fast out initially. 100 metres in, 107.30 for Lucy there. South Lanarkshire swimmer. Qualifying time, 18.51.9. And she comes up to touch the wall now. The second 100. 224.6. A couple of seconds up already on the previous heat. This is them just maybe starting to get into yeah. their groove now, though, Robert. Interesting to see how uh, Alice Cumming goes in this one. She's in, uh, challenging for second place. She'll uh, be quite three, comfortable yeah. doing this distance event, having uh, done open water in the past, and I'm sure she'll want to do some open water in the coming season. But Lucy Hunter at the moment, just shades it. Three of the, three of the summers pretty tightly bunched, Matty. Yeah, though. yeah, absolutely. With uh, Lucy Atherton, the Art of Midlothian summer, just in fourth position. Although there's, a, there's four girls uh, pretty tightly bunched for, well, five swimmers are all pretty closely bunched for four, five, six, seven, and eight. But there are some four or five seconds off the pace at the moment. These first three certainly all about the same time as they turn. Which is still ahead at the moment, 3.34.52. So a second cover the first three with... Uh, gap of a good, a good five seconds to the rest of the field so if the rest want to stick with them they need to uh, just try and pick things up yeah 300 meters in that uh, usually, usually get a feel for it by now Early yeah, doors, how, yeah. how things are going to develop and Alex, Alex Coy going nicely see early doors after 300 meters it's yeah it's easy sitting up here and talking about it 37.51 at the split there. Slightly slowed down on our splits. So it looks like it was settled into a into 115 yeah. pace here. Yeah. So we'd be looking at 4.49 or thereabouts at the split. Still Lucy Hunter just ahead of uh, Alex. Alex. Yeah, I think Alex is maybe just touching first, is she? Uh, still Lucy. 4.49.13. At least a second between the three of them. And that 
line of four is pretty much static now as well when we look back at the fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh places there so it's these three out on their own the thing is they're pacing around uh, the 76-ish mark because uh, the swimmers at front are roughly 75 so they're pulling away by a good uh, second plus every hundred yep. but you can see there hardly half a second between the three so we'll hope this sticks like this for the next 800 yeah. metres yeah exactly yeah and yeah. we have a finish on our hands yeah. so we're looking at something around 604 at uh, a third of the race Lucy Hunter will be watching those swimmers out her right hand side and she breathes to that side and now won't see them again. Still breathing to the, the right. Oh, Alice coming, uh, just dropped back a fraction. She, she want to just make sure that uh, she picks us up again. Still very much these three though. Yeah, big gap now. Uh, it's the best part of 10 seconds. Before you get back to Lewis yeah. Atherton, who just holds fourth place. Yeah, Salas coming, just picked up the pace a wee bit to, to stay with them. Staying with them at this point, yeah. 37 4 9, 37 5 6, 6 6. They'll be totally aware of each other, but. See, st still a long, long way to go. Alice doesn't panic here if uh, she's under pressure. She right. Just fell back a little bit there, isn't she? So that's Alex turning for the first time ahead of the field. 7.18.87. Alice, Alice, just, Alice just over a second behind the second place swimmer now. And I just wonder if the wee gap's going to open up here. It's starting to, it's starting to lengthen a little bit, Robert. Wonder Summer looks uh, pretty strong still in four. Let's see if Alice Cumming has pulled back a wee bit to try and stick with them. Just over a yeah, second. Alice Cumming is. Uh, yeah just increased her pace a wee bit yep. to try and stick with it. No, no, no. Uh, it's quite intriguing between yeah. these three now as each hundred gets ticked off. It just seems this back part of the uh, each hundred, Alice just drops off a little bit. Is yep. she catching up more on the turn then, is she, off, off the wall? Looks that way. So we'll you check it out as they come up. This is just... Very slightly ahead of but we'll have a look at the Alice's water underwater work there. Yeah, still a bit that body length. Just shades it. 833, 31. That's 700. This is the halfway point. At the wall now, halfway, 7.5. So I'll look at somewhere around the 9-10 mark. Alice is still, she seems to catch yeah, up that little uh, bit towards the uh, towards the turn, mid-100. So 9-10, 94. Halfway. Yeah. Alice just a fraction faster than the other two. Nine seconds up on the previous heat, the halfway mark. It's almost like Oh, it just drops off a little bit here, but yeah, picks it back up again. Still nothing between Eva and Lucy. And they come and tick off another hundred. Nine forty-eight, one three, and thirty-seven nineteen for both Alex and Lucy. Yeah. Whereas Alice uh, over a half second. Yeah. Um, she won't want us uh, 
gap just to increase, just drop back half a second and maybe just begin to feel the pace that little uh, bit now. Yeah, I think she is. Just kind of feel the arms are not coming over quite as strongly as the other two girls. S slower, she's a slower, slower stroke, but, but she, there again, she's, yeah, she's she might just be yeah. playing this game, you know. So we say 37-24. These two still neck and neck out in front, but I'll be interested to see the next hundred or so where Alice comes into it. Because the Mackay. Just gone ahead of uh, Lucy Atherton. Very little between them in fourth and fifth. There's uh, some 17 seconds further back. So it's all about first, second, and third in this heat. 11 02 94. And, uh, Lucy Hunter just pulls a wee bit more out. And Alice Cumming is uh, almost two seconds back on uh, second place. Alex Coy. She's got her in her sights, but uh, she won't want that gap to increase any further. Well, she is still there, but it's like you say, if if she does let her get away from her now, it might be a struggle to get her back. Yeah, Lucy going sub 37 there on that, uh, that split. Yeah, 11. she just uh, put a marker down yeah. here. And Alice coming still not out of this. Not out of it. Certainly not out of it. But Alex Coy's got to pick something up as well because uh, Lucy Hunter's decided just to pick things up a wee bit stronger yeah. now. She'll only be wanting to get away, let her get away at this point. Well, she's pulled 17. almost a, th a good third of a second. Oh, the other two girls yeah. almost pacing it. Very similar pace, two seconds between Alex and Alice. You can see Lucy's just starting to pull yeah. away a wee bit more. Alice staying with Alex Coy though. Sub 37 last time, 37 3 3. Uh, near half second. Definitely turning into a bit of a race here, possibly. Yeah. Certainly for second. Well, at the moment, it looks as though this race is uh, just beginning to slip away from the other two girls here. I think it's getting away from Alex yeah. first, yeah. We see Hunter. Six at the summer meet last year. It's uh, really beginning to just pull a little bit further ahead. 36.97. 30, well, it's yeah. the second. So she's really uh, she's picking it up. Now. Yeah, she's picked it right up. And as Alice drops back a little bit, can we see is Alex Coy? Is that gap change? No, it's not. Is it? I think. Uh, I think Lucy's just, she's got the pacing yeah. pretty much on cue yeah. here. Well, Silver medalist from East District uh, is still holding second place. Dare I say, fairly comfortably. Yeah, Alex, um, just keeping that lead ahead of Alice there. 37 1 yeah. 5, Lucy. It's almost three seconds yeah. between uh, second and third now. Alice coming with. Uh, an awful lot to do if she wants to pull anything back. Alice, the winner, the uh, summer meet and bronze medalist in this event last year. And she knows what she's doing. But Lucy looks like she has swum a good race so far. And off the wall and 14.45.51. Pacing around about 74s here now, really beginning to pick it up. Yes. And the other two girls kind of feel the pace for both of them has really even dropped. Yeah, it's four seconds uh, now yeah. she's ahead. 
They're swimming sort of 38s, uh, those last uh, 50s as against 37s. 37s, yeah. No, I think she's uh, she's paced this one really well. As we see, Hunter. So just uh, 2.50 to go. Uh, 37.02. That was a quite so, a fast split again. So we're looking at something uh, inside 16 minutes for the split here. 15.59 roughly. And she's starting to build up as well, Robert. Yeah. So finish time. Probably a smidgen over 18.20. But there is a wee chance we get a negative split. Yeah. So anything inside 18, 21, 88 would be a negative Give a split. Give a negative, yeah. 15, 59, 5, 5. Now she should start picking See if up she picks up a now, wee yeah. bit more. Getting plenty of encouragement. She turns that wall, she'll be looking across and seeing the gap that she'll have now over the second place of Alex Coy. But she'll have her pace in and her strategy in her head. 36-6-5 now. She's definitely up on that a little bit. Yeah. I think we're going to see a negative split in this one. Getting plenty of encouragement from uh, the South Lanarkshire contingent over there. Alex Coy, uh, pretty comfortable now in second, Alex coming in third. Yeah, she's oh, dropped Alex coming now. So, onto the belt, 100 metres to go, 17, 13, 28. Well, it's maybe a big ask for her to be a uh, negative split, but we would put her past her here. She can get... Uh, Something like yeah. a 35 for this 50. Oh, she's certainly picking it up, and you can see that feet are frantically kicking now. Get her up that pool. 1820 point. 1820, 21, did we say? 18, 18, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, She's Matty. certainly on cue for it. Yeah, this is a great swim. Good swim is also from the other two girls, Alex and uh, Alice. But, uh, this is a cracking swim from uh, Lucia uh, Hunter. She has had a great strategy here. She stuck to it. Early leader, let Alex Coy take over, but then once she got back in front again, oh, oh, it's just quite. out. Is it 18 23 yeah. exactly? Well, nevertheless, almost a 30-second wow. improvement. Yeah, yeah, that's outstanding. Into time of uh, 18.51. So close to a negative nine. split. Mikhail uh, giving Lucy Atherton uh, plenty of uh, encouragement, a heart swimmer in lane number five. Five, yeah. Looks as though she's going to finish in fourth position. Or is she? It's a tight one. Oh, it's oh Alia Cochran's got this it. one. Oh, that's incredible. 19.03.67, 1903 What a swim uh, we yeah, had there for uh, fourth and fifth. Mila just, just taking it over Lucy Atherton. And that could be important because yep. uh, they're 18 and 17 respectively, so the older age group, yep. that might be a... A point points for Alia for club, and no yeah. points for Lucy. Mm -hmm. Lucy points, uh, all these points count. So don't discount the fact that these swimmers are a long way back. They are giving it everything. Everything they can. So a great result for Lucy Hunter. 18.23 dead. This will be uh, an interesting finale. Again, full compliment. It's great to see. 
10 swimmers. It's final 1500. And lane zero from Warren de Bath, it's Alice Perry. And one from East Lothian's Tegan Black. Two is Coco Croxford from South Lanarkshire. Three is Georgia Dickey from Dumfries. Four, Phoebe Arbuckle from Warren de Bath. Six, eh, sorry, five is Evie Mackey from South Lanarkshire. Lane six is Emmy Aitken from University of Aberdeen Performance. Seven, Susie McNair from Stirling Swimming. Eight, Caris Mooney from City Glasgow. And in lane nine from East Lothian, it's Kate Nolan. 16.56, the only sub-17 swimmer in this, Phoebe Arbuckle. One of the baths. That's a bright red hat in lane four. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we'll get excited in this one or not, Matty, but uh, Phoebe Arbuckle, as you rightly say, is the fastest uh, qualifier in this heat. The only swimmer sub-17, and she's only 16. Yeah. Maybe started as she means to go on. Well, we, we mentioned Tegan Black earlier. Yeah. Always likes to go out fast. And she's uh, joint leader at the 100-104-02. See, he's loading swimmer with a black hat on there. But Phoebe Arbuckle, 16.56.5. The Scottish junior record is 16.48.88 held by swimmer called Megan Gilchrist who uh, if her memory calls uh, I think that was, was probably set around 2006 I don't have that in front of me but that was uh, a long time ago certainly was Phoebe edge just in, edging just ahead eh? second place eh, first place now Head to Tegan Black. And this is uh, very much her 40 Phoebe Arbuckle uh, distance freestyle. 211.73, Tegan Black. And Evie Mackey in third place. So Phoebe Arbuckle is a 16 year old, Coco Croxford. And Alice Perry, the other two 16-year-olds in this one. Evie Mackey, Emmy Aiken, and Kate Nolan, 15-year-olds. And the older age group, Tegan Black, Karis Mooney, Susie McNair, Georgia Dickey. The interesting, Susie McNair, and Georgia Dickey fourth and fifth. Susie McNair and Georgia Dickey will come through strongly in the second, the second half of the part. race. Yep. And I don't see them challenging uh, Phoebe, Ma Phoebe Arbuckle. Well, that's Phoebe now up at 300 metres and 320.12 there, Robert. See them all probably settling into their, yeah, yeah. their strategy and their pacing now. You see over in lane seven that white cap uh, Sterling swimming. Susie McNair just sneaked into third, although there's uh, another three swimmers all very closely bunched. That's Evie Mackey, Georgia Dickey, Coco Coxford. It looks like Phoebe yeah, Argyle has probably settled into something like a 16 and a half ish pace. So I would expect something around the uh, 429 mark for a 400, and that's what did that you say the record was? Just as a uh, it's uh, 16, 16, 48, 48, 48 But to go out in a 400, to go out in an 800, it'd be sub 430. For 400 is some swim. Yeah. I'm just ticking them off now. 428.87.
So Fee Bardbrook will still well clear in this one. Second place, uh, Tegan Black. And she's um, putting this uh, gap wider as each length gets ticked off here. But uh, Tegan Black, 36-31. Susan McNair, 35-80. Georgia Dickey, 35 dead. So they're... Uh, Coming back at Tegan Black. Tegan Black, uh, so I wrote, oh, do your best to hang on. Yeah, it's early stages too, isn't it? She'll yeah, be we'll seeing him right up beside her. 5.38.04 for Phoebe. Third of the way in. Well, we're probably looking at a time pretty close to the entry time for Phoebe. I don't think uh, we're going to be worrying about. Uh, Records. Breaking the record. Uh, so it stood for a very, very long time. Megan Gilchrist, an excellent distance swimmer in her day. That's a good shot of Phoebe there in lane four coming down. We have a change of second place. We have yeah, Georgia Dickey. So. It's actually going second. Uh, Tegan Black, Coca Coxford, and Susie McNair and Evie Mackey. So it's all changed uh, behind Phoebe, but you can see just how dominant she is, Matty. Total dominance here, Robert. Total dominance. She's half a half a minute faster than uh, Evie Mackey, who in turn is a few seconds faster than Georgia Dickey. And there's your second place change right enough. Georgia Dickey actually won this event last year uh, in the 16-year-old uh, age group category. She's swimming this year, 17-18. At the moment, she's uh, on track to take that. She beat uh, Susie McNair no less last year, which uh, su surprised me that uh, she managed to beat Susie. But Georgia had been uh, steadily improving throughout last season and uh, certainly doing so again this year. And we'll be having a go, no less, at open water this year, which uh, we're really? looking forward to. So uh, here we go again for Phoebe. I think uh, Coca Cotsford, who's gone third, I think Coca's also considering doing some open water as well. I'm not sure about Evie Mackey or Susie McNair. I don't think uh, it's something they're wanting to embrace at the moment. But you never Too cold. Know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> and they're coming up towards the uh, halfway mark for Phoebe. And she's coming up to the wall now, and that will be halfway down this. 1500. Yeah, 8, so. 32, 8. Did say that she's probably a little bit over the uh, 17 minute mark, yeah. and so you double that and probably add another 5, maybe even up to 10 seconds. So we're probably in the 19 10s or thereabouts range. But today it's all about uh, getting it. Uh, getting the job finished. done. Yeah. Because. Uh, these swimmers won't just have one or two swims, they'll probably have maybe ten swims, some maybe even more throughout, uh, through the, week. the course of the five days. Yeah, of course. Most, most of these swimmers will probably, if they've got a variety of swims, will elect to do two each day. Yeah. Second place, Georgia Dickey, just ahead of Coco Coxford. Very little on it with these They're girls, yeah. a really good race. Susie McDear, some way back in uh, third place, for, uh, sorry, uh, fourth place, but effectively second place in the older age group. So at the moment, uh, Phoebe Arbuckle, Coca Crooksford won two in that 16 year old age group ca category. 
Alice Perry uh, in ninth position in this race. At the moment, probably just holding bronze medal position, Alice Perry. In the older age category, it's uh, certainly Georgia Dickey from Susie McNair. And third place looks to be Tegan Black in that uh, older age group category. Tegan Black uh, looks as though at the moment she's a uh, good bit clear in third place in that older age group category. In the 15 year old age group, Evie Mackey at the moment seems to be uh, holding that uh, gold medal position. I'll just uh, check those times as they come on the board. They're uh, over on the far side. Behind us, Kate Nolan, possibly uh, maybe in uh, bronze medal position in the 50 year old category, and Amy Aiken. Very controlled. Looks to be uh, silver medal position. Very controlled race here for Phoebe Rope, 11.27.50, 900 metre mark. Yeah, it's been pretty steady uh, around about the 72nd mark for uh, the last few hundred. The splits are pretty reasonable within each other. A great deal of difference between them. I was slighter, slightly slower one that time, but but she'll run it, run it up at both the Edinburgh International Meet and the Geneva International Meet, uh, Phoebe Rocuso. Really quality swimmer over this distance event. She's certainly stuck to her plan here, yeah. I think, Robert. There's been, yeah. uh, she's not put a foot wrong yet yeah. so far. Yeah, we, we've we certainly been lacking for the last, uh, say, five, six years in distance uh, freestyle, both at uh, male and over and female. But Phoebe Abacle uh, certainly uh, want to look at over the next few years say 16 year old yeah see it looking at the board still a few greens hitting there maybe the pace you know, start thinking about getting ready to build up a little bit George and Dickie you just see in lane three in your camera shot in second place and in lane two coming out is uh, Coca Coxford, second and third. Over that far side in lane seven, further back Susie McNair. But uh, our leader coming down. Very to comfortable, Robert, yeah, mark. Very comfortable. Again, yeah. pretty steady. Uh, yeah, our splits are, are yeah. uh, pretty much steady. And that's what you expect uh, when you've been doing this for yeah. a number of years. You get that uh, clock, mental clock. It'll be ticking away inside. Are you right? And absolutely right. Whether you're pacing at 60, 69 and a half or 70.2, you just get into that rhythm and it's, it's yeah. consistently clockwork. So today it's probably just about getting the job done and uh, settling in for your, your first day at you Scottish National finished. Age Groups for yeah. uh, a lot of these swimmers. Yeah. Be interested to see what happens the afternoon when we've got the youngsters coming uh, yeah. and this will be a new experience for uh, a lot of the 12 and 13 year olds and a few 14 year olds as well. And fair play to them as well. So a couple of hundred to go. 
14.57, yep, again, expect her just to pick it up a wee bit now. You'll we'll see that. So we're probably looking at maybe a 19-13, 19 19-14, slightly, just 19, she, you assuming, think? assuming she picks it up over the last couple of hundred, something around a 19-13, 19-14, but we're looking for sub-35 here. Well, no, she's uh, probably just decided, let's just keep the same pace, so we're maybe looking around the 19-15-ish. I thought she was quicker than that, but... Yeah. Not really having to do too much here. Legs still not uh, got going. But she might get to, to work when she hears the bell. So she turned 16, 7, Stop. is it? 16 or 7 dead. Yeah. 1400 metres, last 100. Just picked it up half a second that last. But, uh, still not doing too much. Doesn't look as though she's doing too much, Matty, does she? No, uh, to be fair, she doesn't look like that much different from she's been halfway through it. She's yeah, just exactly. very steady, yeah. very controlled. There's no frantic efforts being put in here at all. But Yeah, another 35. So... Not really bothered about the time. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be yeah. more than happy with that. Even a leg kick's hardly yeah. kicked in at all. She knows how fast she is ahead, that, that she's just uh, taking it nice steady. Yeah. 7 16, 17 7 yeah. 15 86. So Phoebe Barbaco will be the uh, gold medalist and uh, Scottish National Age Group champion. Georgia Dickey in the older age group category will be uh, National Age champion. Coca Croxford taking third, so she finishes second, 16 year old. Susie McNair finishing in fourth will be the second in the older age group. Fifth place, Evie Mackey, will be the 15-year-old champion. Tegan Black, who finished in sixth place, will be the bronze medalist in the 17-year-old category. Amy Aiken, finishing in eighth position. will be bronze medalist, sorry, silver medalist in the 50-year-old category. Alice Perry. Third. Katie Nolan just finishing there to complete that event. Great effort from all the swimmers there today. And then we will shortly be going to another swim off, I believe, is next, Robert. Yeah, we have another swim off. So this is uh, female 50 to 18, 50 metre breaststroke swim off. Katie Gillis from Renfrew in lane four, and Ella Cunningham in lane five, City Glasgow. Both had times of 36.91. And they've had a, a nice long rest as well. And they've had a rest, yeah. So 50 metre yeah. shots, but it's a 
we in four. Get your goers. We in five. Ella Cunningham. And to go. The action time almost identical. 0 0.75, 0 0.74. But a faster but into this. the water yeah. was uh, Ella. The underwater work from there from Ella has projected her right forward ahead. So she's, uh, she's certainly yeah. looking to get this. Can uh, Katie come back to it? Still about a half a metre, yeah. and it's just starting to claw back from Katie, but I think, I think Ella's, Ella's just, just done it. Yeah, I think that start has made the big difference. Let's see their time as he hit the wall. And it is a 35.88, like you say, quicker both, in the swimmer. Both quicker as well, Matty. <laughs> well done to Ella. I think that gets a slot in the final. Yeah, uh, final sp spot, of course. And now, we'll now we've got uh, presentations, which will be coming up fairly soon. Uh, we've got the f female 15 to 18, 1500 freestyle presentations. We then... Uh, have a bit of fun to finish the morning session. As we'll, an adjust. We'll, we'll have a bit of fun, I think, at uh, both morning and afternoon sessions. With the with relays, relays. Yeah, great fun. Even better fun when you're not swimming it. Yeah. So over there, that's uh, the team from Geary, I think. Uh, and the yellow top, uh, sorry, the orange tops. Yeah. Very prominent tops they have. You say it's great to see clubs from all over the UK and out with the UK coming here. Yeah, I think uh, Seven Oaks is probably about the furthest in Kent. Yeah, yeah, slightly further in Beckenham. Just a wee bit. One swimmer from Dubai, is it just the one this? Uh, I'm not sure, the one certainly today. at least w one, there one might today, be a couple, yeah. maybe two or three. But yeah, so presentations should be over uh, at the bottom end of the pool. Certainly, uh, the way we, we have it, I think uh, it's Phoebe Arbuckle, Coca Croxford, and uh, maybe it will be Alice Perry. Double check that very, very shortly. Just a wee lull in the proceedings as they get ready to do this. Just uh, double check if all these results are now in. It's certainly been a good morning so far, anyway. First session of this week. Been a bit of a success so far, Robert. So yeah. We'll, uh, seems to be all big on the plan. So we did, we did uh, when you joined us, if you're still with us on the live stream, did say that uh, we have a long, long session uh, for the morning. It's a good three, best part of a good three and a half hours. Uh, with uh, the freestyle and relays uh, to finish the session. And that's, uh, I think, very much the, the case for all five days. As like you see, it's great fun to finish in the yeah, relays. Yeah, very much. There's a camera panning out down some of the swimmers, coaches and volunteers. Yeah, we couldn't do it without the uh, vast amount of volunteers that come yep. along uh, every year and help out. Waiting on confirmation of the uh, presentations. So I think we're just about ready to get the, those presentations. I think uh, Fiona Crawford, the SASA president, will be doing the presentations. I 
think Lucy Hunter might have managed to get herself into a medal position uh, with that really good swim earlier on. Yeah, that was very impressive. I hope she has. Here we go. So this is the first set of presentations. It was Lucy, Lucy Hunter, Hunter who, with it, that yeah. great swim, gets the bronze medal in the 15-year-old great future. That was Perry in the 16-year-old. From Warren Dart. And the 17, 18-year-old. Tegan Black from East Lothian. Yeah. That's your yeah. bronze medal winners. Well done. Congratulations, girls. I know for the 15 year old age group from Aberdeen performance, the Emma Aitken, silver can, medal. Yeah. And into the 16 year old, South Lanarkshire, Coco Croxford. And into the 17, 18 year old age group, Sterling swimming, it's Susie McNair. And into the gold medal winners, Snags winners. Evie Markey, South Lanarkshire. And then the 16 year old age group from Warren Dart, and it's Phoebe Arbuckle. You just saw complete a magnificent 1500. 17, 18 year old group from Dumfries, it's Georgia Dickey. A big round of applause yeah. in the building here for those medal winners. Those three, those three medal uh, winners on, on the, the gold on the podium uh, winners last year so they've replicated what they did last year again Wonderful. this year so good to see that of course that won't happen next year because Georgia Dickey and Phoebe Abarco are in the 17-18 yeah, category yeah. so yeah. only one will prevail unless somebody else comes over and upsets the apple cart OK, we've got uh, two heats of uh, 4x200 freestyle nail and open ahead of us. So there's the teams, Inverclyde, first South Lanarkshire, Warner Baths. That's the Warner Baths B team. Then we've got Geary, Cumbernauld, Wren 96, Carnegie, City Glasgow B team and Heart of Edlothian. So this is uh, an opportunity sometimes for some of the swimmers who may not necessarily have uh, individual swims to come up here and be part yeah. of the team. Yeah, and that's it what is, it's all about. And it is twofold, isn't it? It is that as well. And uh, some of these swimmers off the blocks, they will get an accredited time when they hit that wall. So Indeed. it may well be that they'll yep. get a personal best. If You know, there's that thing when you're in a team, you're trying so hard, aren't you? Being part of that team, it, might just spur them on a little bit. So you could be some of these swimmers who are maybe here because they're part of a team may well come away with a PB. So I'll keep our fingers crossed for them. But certainly it's always exciting, the real, yeah. isn't it? And the only thing that usually goes wrong is uh, takeovers. <laughs> yeah, well, they fingers crossed. Bit, they, they get a wee bit over keen. Yeah. Yeah, it's that fine balance from leaving the block it yeah. is just after they yeah. touch the wall isn't it yeah. as Robert says we've got another heat after this and then yeah. we'll move on to the 17 and overs so fingers crossed as I say we've had a great morning swimming already hopefully the relays do us proud and do us proud get some good Good timings here, some exciting racing before we uh, I, I, yeah. start this afternoon session. And I think I'm right in my, my in saying that there are points available in this 14, 6 year old category, but in the 17 and over relays, there are no points All available. Right, okay. I don't know that. Because uh, I think these, these uh, 17 overs, it's any age. Oh, of course. Which allows right. them to swim at British Championships as of part of a, a relay team. So sometimes you might get, uh, like the University of Aberdeen, you've got Edinburgh University, Stirling University coming along uh, and swimming. But that's, that's coming shortly, that's in about 10 minutes. We've got the first team to, to look forward to. Come. So good luck everyone. There we go, I'm putting the blocks ready for the start.
And off we go, just to confirm again. And Clyde and in lane zero, and one it's first. Two South Lanarkshire, three one the Baths, four's Geary. Uh, that's Warren Derbath's B team, four's Geary, five Cumbernauld, six is Wren 96, seven Carnegie, eight City Glasgow B team, and in nine it's Hartman Lowe. And all the and swimmers, swimmers uh, in we'll for their teams. Um, the names as they come up. So at the turn we're looking at uh, lane six, Tom Jeffers, that's uh, Wren 96, swimmer first. Geary swimmer, lane four. Ian Nelson second. I just keep my eye down from here onto the pool. We have Ren 96 still ahead, so that was Tom Jeffers. He'll be touching first. Right, turn, sorry. He goes 58 to 8 for him. See if he picks it up. Well, Ren 96 ahead of Geary here. South Lanarkshire in third place. Certainly Tom Jeffers given uh, his team a, a good head start. As I said, Matty, there's one of my outsides uh, for yeah, maybe you did sticking that. Yeah, yeah, you did 10, see so that. We'll, we'll see how they go. Oh, coming down to the, the wall now for Tom. Still got a good lead there for Ren 96. 129.50, coming down his back 50, gear a second. That's the bright yellow helmets in second place. Warren the Bath in third. So, 25 metres to go, early leaders, Ren 96, Geary in second, and it's at one the Bath still in third, but it's getting a bit tighter there and the, uh, for that third place. So as we watch the wall at the touch here, so Tom Jeffers over to Cooper Sloss now, and his Gow goes in for Geary in lane four, and third place is Oliver Dixon. And that's Warren der Baths. As they hand over, that lead that Ren 96 have is starting to diminish. As Geary are pulling that back. Let's see, 50 metres into this part of the leg. Pretty much neck and neck there, were they? Cooper Schloss and Innes Gow. So you can see visibly that lead has all but disappeared. And Geary coming right down now to close that. There's literally nothing in it. And with five metres to go, they're pretty much neck and neck. Here we go off the wall. It is Austin McPherson there. So Geary now, your outright leaders. Head of N96. Warren are falling back now to South Lanarkshire. They look like they've taken over third place. So Geary really have put the boot down now. And they have a lead of about three seconds over Red 96. And third place is still a fight here between South Lanarkshire and Warrender. So coming down the last part of this leg will be when these swimmers touch the wall, that's halfway to 200s in. So Geary now in control of this as they come up to the halfway mark. And Geary hand over. Second into water will be Ren 96. And Warren de Huff just come back slightly again. So they go into water third. Look the call there for Warren de. No doubt about that, right leader at the moment, no. Geary are well out in front. Ahead of Ren 96. And it looks like Ren 96 have been caught by both South Lanarkshire and Warren de. Your, one, your leader at the moment in the bright yellow hat, that's Geary, that's Austin McPherson in lane four. 
and he'll be he'll be handing over to his teammate very shortly for the, the final 200 metre leg. See what he does at the wall. As he comes to turn. Still a very good lead. So 100 for him to go. So Geary still ahead. Lane one, Austin McPherson. The gap is certainly closed between Ren 96, Warrender and uh, South Lanarkshire. Second, Ryan McCabe. Third, Luke McCall for Lucas Crock. Certainly, from here, that uh, Geary have total control of this. Uh, come up to the wall now to complete a 50 metre sprint down, and he'll hand over to the final member of Geary. And Red 96 have now been overtaken by, I think, both South Lanarkshire and Warrender. So as we approach, watching the Geary swimmer approach the uh, final wall for him, he's going to hand that over with a considerable lead over second place Warrender, third place South Lanarkshire. In goes Fergus Reid, 6.20.05 for them so far. Second place is outright Warrender Bar, so that's been a good leg from, uh, from him. And he hands over now to Alexander McNiven and third South Lanarkshire. Finlay Bennett starting to bunch up a little bit there the big question is can Geary be caught here and the final swimmer for Geary that's him 50 metres in let's check his time 6.50.63 let's see the gap here after 50 metres closest swimmer to them as uh, as Warren the swimmer I don't think this, uh, this one's in doubt at all at the moment anyway. Geary coming up to the wall. He's going to touch. Let's see his time in here. He hits the wall. 7.24. Fergus Reid. And watching the red hat there for Warrender. 7.24, 7.34, so 10 seconds of difference there. Third place at the turn, Finley Bennett still from South Lanarkshire. It's a tough ask, I think, Robert, for uh, anyone to catch yeah, Geary here. So like. All done and dusted, doesn't it? Yeah. Very much about third place here. It's, uh, the gap is closing, but uh, the hard work was done. The first couple of hundreds, first couple of two hundreds, sorry. There is a sprint on. Let's see the distance now. It's certainly considerably closer. And narrows all the time, but I think Geary have got enough left now. And that distance, they're not going to be caught. So Geary will come in to touch the wall first, complete this. Good swim from Geary. Uh, 8.34.70 for Fergus finishing there. And a really, really good swim there. Warrender swimmer, Alexander McNiven, took that gap considerably down. But look at the fight for third now. I think it's going out to lane eight, is it? City Glasgow, look at that. What a finish. 8.48, 8.92. That's your one, two, and three. Here eight, Warrender, and City Glasgow. Well, that gap was certainly an one it anyway. It was, yeah. I'm starting to answer myself, ask myself some questions there, but the hard work was done early yeah. doors. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, Matty had disqualification uh, for technical infraction. Oh, uh, lane Glasgow, yeah. eight. So we suspect probably takeovers. Had to be, yeah. We don't know for certain, yeah, but it, that's, that's the likely, likely scenario. That's where it all goes wrong. Sometimes there's not a lot you can do about it if you if you've timing that the swimmer's going to come in and doesn't come in and touch as you're anticipating it's you go and you've got anticipation gone. yeah yeah I'm just looking down at the pool there I don't know if they can see it yeah yeah you can your uh, multicolored wigs and uh, skirts and that 
that the uh, Highland Swim team have got on as right. they just get uh, ready to go in the water. So right. On our initial, uh, we had uh, three, we've actually got three heats, not, not, Sorry, Sorry. Sorry. So now this is a, a, a second heat, they've changed this into third heat, so we've, uh, we've got swimmers away in the water. Uh, Joseph Kane, Lackey Bremner, Fraser Cowie, Gregor Ross, Lachlan Small and Lewis Lothian. So that is Carnegie in two, Highland in three, South Ayrshire, eh, South Ayrshire four, City Glasgow five, Stirling Swimming six and East Lothian in seven. Apologies for the wee delay there, they were just letting me know that they've actually made it three heats now. So um, let's see where we are, Stirling Swimming just ahead of South Ayrshire, 29-12 to 29-15. So anyway, that's 100 metres in. Uh, leaders at the moment, lane six. Sterling swimming. Lachlan Small in the water. Turning second is Gregor Ross. And third is Fraser Kiwi. get some information in front of me here now, make it a bit clearer as to what's going on. Apologies for that wee bit of delay. Yeah, this is really confused us. So uh, we've got three heats, uh, not the two as we initially had. Yeah, it's all changed, but here we are now. So we're um, just confirmation of swimmers still as Joseph Kane from Carnegie, Lachlan Brenner, Highland Swim Team, Fraser Cowie, South Ayrshire, Gregor Ross, City, Glasgow, Lachlan Small, Stirling, and Lewis Lothian and East, Lo uh, East Lothian team. So we will shortly be handing over to the second swimmer. The leaders in lane six at the moment, that's Stirling Swimming Club A. So that's Lachlan Small, he'll be handing over to Fraser Gemmel. And they do so over City Glasgow, a two, three second lead. In the water for City Glasgow, Kyle Mossman. And next to him in lane four, that's South Ayrshire Swimming Team, and that's Hamish Maxwell. The remaining swimmers will be Adam Balanowski for Carnegie, Lucky, eh, sorry, Nebi Singular from Highland Swim Team, and Boyd Fernsay from East Lothian. So the winner's still lane six. Sterling swimming, Fraser Gemmel, 15 year old. So they have about a two or three metre lead over the City Glasgow Swimming Team A. And I think they're now getting, well, looking back to that third position between lane three and four, that's Highland Swim Teams, Nebby Singular and Hamish Maxwell from South Ayrshire A. So Fraser Gemmel for City Glasgow still ahead. Kyle Mossman turning still in second place. So it's Stirling swimming ahead of City Glasgow, ahead of South Ayrshire. Kind of that gap's closing a little yeah, bit, Robert. You kind of feel that Stirling have just got to try and keep, keep it, this gap yeah. at least because uh, they'll come under pressure in the final 200. So it is definitely getting, the gap's getting narrower. And now it's now closing, you can see it. So Stirling ahead of City Glasgow, ahead of South Ayrshire, and then Highland. About two, two and a half metres of lead, Stirling. And Stirling getting ready to hand over. So they are in the lead at the moment, they'll stay in the lead after this bit. You can see if it's going to close up. So into the water goes Fraser van der Mullen for Stirling. Just and lane five is Kyle Collin. Very second, isn't it? Very little, and the gap is closing very, very quickly. Let's see if 
Um, Fraser van der Mullen can hang on to it, but uh, Kyle Connolly looks like he's ready to start to overtake. So the new leaders are going to be City Glasgow. At the turn, um, coming up, it's very close, you can see that at the turn there, but City Glasgow just slightly ahead of Sterling. Yeah, they've... And uh, third place. Kyle's going to very strong indeed. And the gap's very little between them and Highland, so Highland have uh, fighting for that third place. That's a good leg for City Glasgow, though. You can see Sterling just starting to slow down a little bit there. Yeah. Let's see if Fraser can stay with them. Well, second place might not be a, a gimme for Sterling at this yeah. point in time. Glasgow turning first, Sterling second. South Ayrshire, a little oh, bit of a gap between well. them now and Highland Swim Team. Well, this looks good for uh, City of Glasgow now, Matty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've certainly uh, put their dent on it now. And Sterling are now being reeled in. Yeah. By yeah. South Ayrshire. South Ayrshire look uh, as though they're going to get second place now. Uh, possibly a Highland Swim team are catching Sterling here as well. No doubt about the outright leader at the moment in Glasgow, City of Glasgow. Yeah, certainly the Highland Swim team are closing a little bit, yeah. so... It's Aidan Williamson from Highland trying to catch up with Fraser van der Moulin. There's City Glasgow coming up now to hand over. So lane five, handing over Nikolai Sisnet for City Glasgow. And South Ayrshire, that's Lewis Gibson in the water now. And you can see the distance is very close now as Jay Darmett is from Highland goes to try catch Jason Dixon. Could be a frantic fight for, second, uh, for third. Fourth here. Nikolai isn't it there turning off the wall. City Glasgow. Outright leaders. So Nikolai isn't it from Glasgow. Good looks lead like, here. Yeah, it looks like Sterling Martin might just be hanging on comfortably for third place now. For third, yeah, just starting to break away from Highland. Can Sterling catch South Lanarkshire over this last hundred metres coming up? The Glasgow turn ahead of South Ayrshire and then Sterling followed by Highland. Looking at may well be your finishing order. Ten metres to the turn for Nikolai, isn't it? So Glasgow turning out, heading down the final 50. And as he come up to the final turn, it is South Lanarkshire, followed by Stirling and Highland. A couple of seconds behind, no doubt about this one, no. Nikolai Sisnik for Glasgow, bringing them home. Been a good uh, relay for City Glasgow. Initially Sterling, but uh, that's, uh, that lead was drawn back pretty quickly. So City Glasgow finished first place. 8.30.92 and South Ayrshire six seconds behind. And third will be Stirling swimming team, 8.42.83. Highland swim team, fourth, 8.45.2. But a really, really good, strong swim for City Glasgow there. Black cap of uh, East Lothian finishing. And that's it. Uh, Is that the last one in now? And the other black cap, uh, I think... Uh, just in uh, come down and finish the race. I don't know that uh, they're not going to be troubling the judges. Carnegie, Carnegie team. Carnegie 18 just coming in to finish now. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, gave me two halves that one, really, wasn't it? 
Very much so. Good strong start from Sterling, but uh, once they were overtaking, that was it. There's no way looking back for City Glasgow. So, a final heat. So, a University of Aberdeen performance uh, go in. Lane two, East Lothian swim team, their A team go in three. The Perth City are in four. Wander Bassey in five. Aberdeen Dolphins in six. And Bells Hill Sharks go in lane seven. So eight, 30.92. Matty was uh, City Glasgow time, yeah. which all these teams have got to beat. Yeah. Um, well, at least three of the teams have got to beat if they want to be on the podium. Swimmers so in the water from University of Aberdeen's Cameron Hastings, East Lothian's Connor Aspinall, Perth City, Kenzie McLean, Warren the Bars, Harry Sharp, Aberdeen Dolphins, Dean Fern, and Bells Hill Sharp as Aaron Russell. Yeah, yeah it looks like Bells Hill Sharks are, uh, are there just to try and get uh, the job done. Whereas the other five are uh, very much in the mix yeah. after the first hundred. Perth Wander, Aberdeen Dolphins separated by barely half a second. Uh, USA Aber Aberdeen performance not that far off that pace. And Conor Aspinall for East Lothian swim team will want to try and stick with them if he can. At the moment, uh, it's Aberdeen Dolphins. Dean Fern. Very little, isn't it? So, Perth and Aberdeen Dolphins. Almost together. Dean Fern, Aberdeen Dolphins. He will be handing over to Henry Shalive Barn. The leaders at the moment. Line four, Perth City. And that is Kenzie McLean. He'll be handing over to Ewan Weir. And Perth are went to water first. So just over a second faster. And Aberdeen Dolphins wander in third. Dylan Mitchell for them. And a little bit further back in fourth place. Matthew uh, Blatick. Pytek, yeah. Matthew Pytek, yeah. At the moment, still the advantage with Perth. Dolphins in second, Warner in third. And those three at the moment have just kind of pulled away from the other two teams with Bells Hill a long way back. So you kind of think that the middle position might be coming from those three teams now, Matty, as we're uh, approaching yeah. the 300 mark. I know it's uh, a wee bit early to call. The betting man would agree with you there, yeah. Perth City are strong. But Perth City have gone out uh, extremely strongly yeah. here. That's you Wander and now uh, just sneaked into second and uh, in pursuit. So Wander Bass with Dylan Mitchell. The two red caps of Perth and Wander. And Wander just pulling away a wee bit from uh, yeah. Aberdeen Dolphins. Bear City will want to maintain this good advantage down the final 50 here. I think Wander pulled back a wee bit here. Yeah, I think they have, Robert. I think they have. There's about two seconds between them. Dolphins a fair way back in third and uh, East Lothian swim team. Have a bit to do to try and claw back to try and get into third place. I think Perth have but got Perth, a, uh, yeah. have had a very good uh, last 50 here. Ewan Weir hands over to Finlay Bruce. Warner have Lewis Maxwell Powers. And Dolphins will have uh, Anna Prusik. So it's a healthy gap that Wander uh, I've got to try and make up now. 
still feel it's in Perth's hands at the moment. Well, over three seconds uh, difference at halfway. Well, Ward have taken half a second out. They've really got to take uh, another half a second out for every uh, remaining 50 to give their uh, anchor man a chance. At the moment, uh, Perth have still got all the answers, Matty. Yeah, that's looking very good for them. It's a uh, question of who's going to get third. Half seconds, a lot to ask. Their city still 31-41. Well, 31.84. So Perth just uh, extending that advantage a wee bit more. And this looks pretty cut and dried now. Yeah, just reinforcing it, aren't they? Looking back into third place yeah, now, third, though. Third Aberdeen place is Dolphins. very much uh, up for grabs. One, two, almost look uh, cut and dried now. I think we're East Lothian are maybe overtaking Aberdeen yeah, Dolphin just now. Just about. But Perth City uh, having extended that advantage to uh, a good four seconds, and that's not going to be overhauled now. All to play for for third place with Wander well clear in second. Yeah. But Perth City, Jensen Norris will go in for them. And I can't see uh, Jensen Norris not bringing Perth home. Looks like a good takeover, nice and clean. We'll watch for the takeover for Wanda. Again, that looked to be pretty good. Still close for third. They slow the end. One hundredths in it. An interesting last leg here now. Is indeed. It. Hopefully we'll get that in the camera shot very shortly, but Perth are some 10 metres or so clear. Wander well clear in second, and it uh, looks like uh, oh, he's slow then. Right ahead. Have now clawed well into third. We'll get an idea of the gap between uh, third and fourth now. Well, it's uh, two and a half seconds. Ross Anderton well clear now in second, in third place rather. Well, we have 100 to go. Let's see what the gap is. Certainly he's holding enough. 7.03.37. Warner turning at 7.10.41. Well ahead, um, ahead in third place now. So, East Lothian now clearing third. So that's going to be your 1-2-3, barring a disaster uh, for the Warner team. Yeah, We've still got plenty in hand over uh, East Lothian. The Perth City out the final turn. Yeah. Warrender turn. Close up uh, between uh, East Lothian and uh, Warrender there, but I think that's your finishing three. Like you say, Robert, a good strong race from Perth there. So Perth City are coming home pretty easily. Take that in eight oh eight fifty three. Wonder pass. Hold on by a reasonable amount to take second. Eight sixteen thirty seven. And the Estonian team will finish third and they will be the bronze medalists. Subject to uh, no mishaps in that one, Matty. No, that looked uh, that looked pretty much by the book there. That's uh, Aberdeen Dolphin coming in and take fourth place. Yeah, and I think uh, City Glasgow's A team will end up fourth overall on 8:30 as they're against an 8:30 169. So very very commanding uh, race for Pear City after the uh, first hundred or so. Yeah, that was uh, well swum by Perth. Uh, so they will be uh, our Scottish National Age Group champions. <laughs> so 
So we move on to our final event of uh, a fairly long morning. So I've just had a little announcement. Um, we're a little bit later in finishing this morning. We're due to finish probably a good uh, 10 minutes or so earlier than this. So once this uh, is done and dusted, um, our warm-up, which should have started around now, has been delayed a little bit, but uh, we will still start our afternoon session at 1.45. So our final event, Matty, of the morning yeah, is the male and over 17 over 4x200 metres freestyle. In zero, Stirling Swimming, Wander Bass in one, University of Aberdeen Performance, B team in two, East Lothian Swim team in three, Edward University four, Stirling University five, University of Aberdeen A in six, City Glasgow seven, South Lanarkshire eight, and Kerry in nine. And the swimmers are from Stirling, it's Greer van der Moulen, Wander Bath, Cedar Gillen, University of Aberdeen Performance, B team is Leighton Bar, East Lothian swim team is Stefan Kravis, University, Edinburgh University A team's Finlay Club, University of Stirling, Peter Allen, University of Aberdeen Performance A, that's Cameron Travis, City Glasgow teams, Aidan Kay, South Lanarkshire, is Jack Simpson, and I'll confirm the Geary swimmer in just one second. Sorry, Falk, uh, first. I'll come back to those names in a second. Yeah, it's Ben McLaughlin going in for uh, Geary. Ben McLaughlin, Geary swimmer, yeah. That's, uh, so that's your line-up for your first leg swimmers. Early doors. Yes. It's the two university teams, Edward University. University A, B, yeah. Uh, well there, but uh, Stephen Kravitz uh, has East Lothian at the, at the front at the moment. So East Lothian will do their very, very best to uh, upset the apple cart yeah, here if they can. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a, a medal will be a Stephen. bonus for yeah. them. So Stephen's going to be handing over to Callum Peebles, 18-year-old from East Lothian. So they touch first, off he goes. Second is Tom Robertson, third Tom Bealey, and fourth Henry Baker. So it's East Lothian, Edinburgh University, followed by Uni University of Aberdeen Performance. So we're an early lead for East Lothian. Let's see if Callum Peebles can hang on to this. The only, of the, the only team out of the leading four teams uh, that only have swimmers that are 17 and 18, Matty, the other ones are, as we say, 17 plus. <laughs> it's very kind. 17 plus. I'll settle for that. And Callum B.A. still in first place here for East Lothian. And he's coming down to his halfway mark. And the gap is very slightly starting to narrow. And let's check our times as they tick off. So, Callum, 249. Yeah. Second place, Henry Baker. Third, Tom Robertson. Fourth, Tom Bealey. It's your top four. So it's East Lothian, Stirling, Edinburgh, and then University of Aberdeen performance. So they are pulling this back. Callum's yeah, feeling the begin, pressure a the, wee bit the, now. They're beginning to breathe down his neck. It's going to get a bit tight here now. He's still got about 70 yeah. metres to go. Stirling University, uh, Henry Baker coming through to challenge. Yeah. Callum Peebles just hanging on just hanging at the on. moment. But uh, I think we'll have a change of leader at the other end. Edward University a long way back at the moment. But maybe they've uh, left the big guns yeah, to the final. End, yeah. So this is us coming up to the halfway mark. So East Lothian now just start to be overtaken. So Callum Beeble, he's still hanging in there, Robert. He's, he's still hanging really in there. Very solid swim, his Callum. So let's see the handovers to Stirling University of Aberdeen and East Lothian. Stirling swimmer. Panasangalakis for East Lothian swim team. East Pierce Greening for Stirling University. Andrew Bodie. Brody for Aberdeen for sorry for University of Edinburgh and Tom Robinson from 
The University of Aberdeen performance. So Edinburgh University have a mountain to climb they here. Certainly have. Pierce Green in for Stirling Uni. He's got a slight lead over University of Aberdeen performance swimmer, and that's Tom Bealey. Well, Edinburgh University have some like three and a half seconds to make up on the, the leading team. We're handing over again now. So, he slow then just drop back a little bit. 50 meter, 100 metres for these swimmers to go. Sterling ahead of University Aberdeen performance. And then he slow then. Well, the smart money's on Edinburgh, uh, on uh, Sterling University now. Uh, Angus Allison lane again. five. So it's Pierce Green in here. You fancy Angus Allison will bring this one home quite comfortably for uh, Sterling. Yeah, Sterling. He's so still in manfully uh, carrying on to try and uh, see if they can get a third place, but they're a long way back now. This is a strong race here. Might be all about second place here. As Pierce Green in hands over to Angus Allison, 21 year old from University of Stirling. University of Aberdeen performance now in the water. And third place, Brodie Gordon Gibson. Yeah, for Brody. University Edinburgh University A team. Yeah, they've got two seconds to make up on the Aberdeen performance team, which is feasible. They ball, certainly yeah. uh, have no chance of catching Sterling. So Angus Sterling Allen, with uh, four, almost two second yeah. plus advantage. It's uh, all to play for for second. Now Edinburgh University are chasing uh, Sterling, yeah, still 60, 70 metres to go, eh, sorry, 110, 120 metres to go. Brody Gordon Williamson's had a fantastic first 50. He is pulling his up. first 100, up. rather. Well, there's barely two seconds in it, but Angus Allison has always been a pretty strong freestyler. But he's got to be very strong to resist this challenge, Matty, because here comes Brody Gordon Gibson. He has really well, pushed to get yeah. catch up with him, Robert. In well, fact, I might, I might have to eat my, my <laughs> words here that uh, I didn't <laughs> think uh, Edinburgh had any chance. Out the final turn, this point two of a second, a slightly better turn from Angus Allison, and he needed it. And we've got a sprint on here now. And Angus Allison really has to get to work if he's going to win this one. It's Angus Allison having to pull out all the stops. Brody Gordon Gibson has given it everything, maybe had to give too much early on, has he anything left? It's Stirling University just going to hang on here, Stirling University wow. just hangs on by 1400s. Fantastic. What a race. That was fantastic, great entertainment to watch these guys do that. University of Aberdeen performance finish in third and well done to uh, East Lothian swim team. Man Manfully stuck at it, finishing in fourth. But Inverness University, Brody Gordon Gibson came back at last 50. Another 600 to what? claw it back, but uh, he needed uh, just a wee bit more. I was watching uh, Brody there breathing out his left hand side, so he wouldn't have seen him. You know, I don't know if he'd, if he'd been on yeah. the breathing the other side, but that spurred him on a little bit. But what a finish to the yeah, morning. Indeed, session. Indeed. What a finish. Yeah, well, they've certainly not let well, us down today. This has been yeah. great morning's work so far for them. So, Sterling take that. Edinburgh University in second. And University of Aberdeen performance take third. Outstanding. Wow. So, so I believe there's uh, medal presentations for this one to come. Well, pretty breathtaking that finale. That was ex outstanding. It certainly was.
So from uh, a little bit earlier on, Matty. We've got Per City, Wander and uh, East Lothian. That's the uh, one we had earlier. Of course, yeah, yeah. Kenzie McLean, Ewan Weir, Finlay Bruce, Jensen Morris for Perth. Harry Sharp, Dylan Mitchell, Lewis Maxwell, Pauls, Aidan Drake for Wander, and East Lothian Swimmers, Conor Aspinall, Ismail Shalabi, Declan Kane, Ross Anderton. You can see on your screen, that's him just getting ready to get the medal, pres uh, medal presentations now. Good, good that they're all uh, good to go ready to on go. this one. So just waiting for the bronze it, medalists from uh, East Lothian yeah, coming up today. Like East Lothian coming along. Coming now. Yeah. And uh, I think that may well be uh, Liz Stewart, our former president of SASA, uh, doing the presentations. Right. So the East Lothian team, Conor Aspinall, Ishmael Shalaby, Declan Kay, and uh, Ross Anderton. The bronze medal winners there. For some of these guys, bronze in the in a relay will maybe be the pinnacle of the, the meet, so good good on them. Absolutely. The order team, Harry Sharp, Dylan Mitchell, Lewis Maxwell Purse, and Aaron Drake. Well done guys. Silver medal winners. And the gold medalists and our Scottish National Age Group champions are the team from Per City. And they are Kenzie McLean, Ewan Weir, Finlay Bruce, and Jensen Morris. So well done, lads, in that one. Few photographs of them there. Yeah, that's uh, memento. Key. Warn the stay where you are. This is going to go on uh, Facebook or Twitter or whatever uh, social web page they deal with. Absolutely. So our final set of presentations for the morning are our uh, mail and open 17 and over. 4x200 metre freestyle relay. They've been pretty quick, uh, to be fair, in getting uh, all these swimmers over. Still got enough energy to get up on the blocks, just. <laughs> so bronze medal so winners the here for the University of Aberdeen performance are the bronze medalists. Cameron Travis, Tom Bealey. Tom Robinson and John Taylor. They hardly look to be 17 over to the Matty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting old. <laughs> Our silver medalists are the team from Edinburgh University, the R Finlay Club. Tom Robertson, Andrew Brody, and Brody Gordon Gibson. Uh, gold medalists and Scottish National Age Group's champions are the team from Stirling University and they are Peter Allen, Henry Baker, Pierce Greening and Angus Allison. And what an absolute delight of a race yeah. they And Angus is today. just, just managed <laughs> to uh, breathe on uh, three, is it? <laughs> Every bit of energy spent. Yeah. You can't ask for any more than that. So well done to uh, all our athletes uh, in everything they've done this morning, uh, PBs for all of them. Thanks uh, for joining us on the live stream. We're back here uh, for 20 to 2, so from Matty and yeah. myself, Robert, uh, thanks for joining us and hopefully we'll see you very shortly. See you then.